All right, welcome everybody. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Um, today we are going to be streaming a little <laughs> bit of Pathway. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing this, but uh, I don't have anything else going on tonight. So it's what we're going to be doing here today. Um, this is a game that has long been on my to play list. It is a 16 bit Indiana Jones style adventure. I mean, the pixel art just looks amazing right from the get go. Um, I should say right off the bat that one of the main reasons I'm doing this, obviously, is because everyone's stuck inside right now in various quarantines, and uh, I am also doing the social distancing, self-isolating thing, so it seemed like a good time to, like, chill and play some games. Also, another reason I kind of wanted to make this video here today, or play this game, is that, uh, a lot of the videos that are coming out of my channel right now actually filmed uh, several weeks back, so, um, this... This month and next month and the month before, I, this is like a busy time of year for me. And so I knew I would be really busy. Um, and so I thought I was just going to record a bunch of games ahead of time. So I forget what game came out recently. Uh, the ZX Spectrum one, Fairlight. So in none of my videos that are like coming out from my main series, am I saying anything about the coronavirus or anything? Not that my channel is where you're going to go to get that info, but... I just kind of thought it was weird. Like, maybe you guys are wondering, like, is he is he stupid? Does he not realize what's going on in the world? I do. It's just I filmed those videos a while back. So uh, many of the videos you're going to see on my channel uh, in the next few weeks are really not going to talk about Corona because it really wasn't a big deal when I recorded them. So anyway, now's our chance to talk about it if we want. But hey, let's get to the Indiana Jonesing. Um, I thought... Uh, and another thing that kind of led me to this game is I was kind of thinking, like, what would be uh, what would be a fun game to play uh, sort of while the whole world is ending and everyone's, like, panicking and everything? And for some reason, Indiana Jones felt very welcoming, you know. So we're going to go back to the 1930s. We're going to be fighting Nazis and exploring deserts and all sorts of stuff. Hardcore mode provides a different rule set to standard profiles with increased difficulty and permadeath. <laughs> Let's, let's not have that initially. So my understanding of this game is it's going to be a lot like that uh, RPG we played, Kingsway, um, or FTL, if you're familiar with that. So it's a randomly generated map that we get to explore and have different encounters and battles and stuff. We try and get to the end, and the idea is that many of your adventures will end in failure, but as you play more and more, you'll unlock more abilities and stuff, so... I, you know what, if I just get to kill some Nazis and stuff, I'm going to be super excited. So we're going in J-1001. What options do we have here? I, I guess I will play the game in English. You know, I, I'm always afraid sometimes in games to let you choose a language that I'll accidentally choose like a foreign language and then not be able to change it back and then you're screwed. Uh, but anyway, default AI, all that looks good. That all sounds fine. 59 hertz. An odd number. Wait, 59 or 60? That's very odd. What happens if we go to 60? Is it going to have to, like, uh... It'll probably have to, like, exit the... Okay, what am I doing here? Let's get to the adventure. Alright, more info in Codex. Whenever you see this notification blinking, you can click on this button to see more information on the current context, and you can disable... Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Um... Yep, there we go. Sorry, I was just scrolling down so I could see my chat. Pa Henry, welcome, sir. Um, that's okay that you won't be able to stay the whole time, uh, but you know what? You can catch up on the rest. Whatever you miss, whatever you miss, I'll, I'll put this video up on YouTube. You can check out the rest later, but happy you stopped by, sir. Um, you can disable this in the options screen. I like having tips, though. So, all right. So... Pathway consists of a series of individual adventures that gradually increase in difficulty. To start an adventure, you must assemble a team uh, from the total available unlocked and uninjured characters. Alright, Jeep storage. Once you have assembled your team, you can equip your characters with any new items that you may have gained during previous adventures. Awesome. Click on items that are needed. Okay, we'll figure it out. I've played a game or two, my guys. A game or two in my time, guys. I think we'll figure this out. Uh, when you select a character, blah, blah, blah. Travel, I think you just sort of click around. Events, failure. I don't want to read about failure. Uh, combat, turn-based. I think it's this game's supposed to be kind of like XCOM. 
So I think I think it's pretty straightforward. Actions, cover, heal, repair, revive. We can revive your guys, that's good to know. The Val the Valkyrium question. The German Reich's secret obsession is called Valkyrium. What is this strange substance? What powers does it grant? Oh cool. There's sort of like a secret stuff. Oh, and I like how a lot of this is locked off. This is I'm excited for this. Alright, select an adventure. Friend in need, the wrath of God. Night of the Black Pharaoh, Dream in the Desert Sands, oh my god, these are like Indiana Jones movies. A friend in need. Casablanca, Morocco. You receive a desperate plea for help. Your old friend Morton has been abducted by the Nazis and taken into the Moroccan desert. You decide to travel to North Africa immediately to find Morton before the Germans can execute him. Cool. Tweak the amount of enemies appearing. More will make the combat longer tougher, less will make it easier. Default is fine. Resource supplies, difficulty. All right, we're going to start on low difficulty just so we can see what this game's about. Uh, double click on three characters to assemble your expedition. Okay, sounds good. So we got uh, Jackson Sheffield, American Globe Trotter. Um, hey, just a bald guy. Welcome. Or just, yeah, just a bald guy. Uh, welcome. Lose yourself in the world of 16 bit Indiana Jones. We're just going to be chillaxing here low pressure uh, already this game is looking amazing if you just joined us okay so here who are the other ones Natasha Shashkava a Russian scientist capable healer and fighter what was this guy assault rifle expert where's the archaeologist you know professor <laughs> I, I, I literally want an Indiana Jones Prince Omar Abu Al Jarabi Arabian art collector this is like the Sala character from Indiana Jones Baron Von B, German gentleman imposter. Kind of like that. Captain Louise. I'm not even looking at their abilities. I just want to know, like, their background story first. Brazilian steamboat smuggler. And Miguel Ignacio uh, Cab Caballero. Spanish Civil War poet. Interesting. I like how it's like poets and philosophers. You know, very Indiana Jones. All right. We gotta take this guy. He's the closest thing to an indie that we got, so we'll take this guy. He's a American globetrotter, assault weapons expert. So he has an armor shredding, low accurate, magged out, crit chance, tarnished veneer automatic rifle. You're in, Jackson Sheffield. You son of a bitch. Get over here. I'm assembling a team. Um, <clears throat> maybe we'll just go down the list here. I guess I'm fine with all of these. I guess having a healer is good. Look, she has toilet paper, guys. She's been uh, hoarding in the uh, coronavirus apocalypse. Uh, what else we got here? Omar Abu Al Jarabi. Multiple weapons. Starts with f first aid special ability. What's this guy do? He finds more money. Starts with crippling shot. Starts with cleave. Very resilient. <laughs> Strong versus Nazis. That's good, because I've been led to believe they are our main uh, antagonist in this game. Uh, let's just go down the list. We'll go with uh, Prince Omar here. Seems fine. Omar will stand with you through thick and thin. All right, let's depart on this adventure. I'm excited. On the exploration map, you can manage your party by pressing I or clicking the bottom bar. Click to continue. You take a break in a provincial backwater. You take a break in a provincial oh. backwater a few miles beyond Casablanca. This is the last outpost of civilization. Beyond this point is nothing but merciless desert. Morton is out there somewhere. How's the volume, guys? Let me know if it's like too loud or too quiet. It seems like it's, I'm like looking at the audio level, it seems okay. Just tell me if it's too loud or too quiet, I can adjust it. Anyway, let's begin our adventure. Oh, look at all this. Any places to go, this is so cool. You check your gear one last time and start the engine. Your journey begins. Just, like looking, it, it kind of looks like Metal Slug. You guys remember the Neo Geo Metal Slug game? It apparently has really awesome lighting effects. So these shadows and stuff, like there's day night effects and you know, buckle up, basically. Uh, left click on a green location to travel to the location. Uh, journey there consumes one fuel. Oh, it's kind of like Oregon Trail, almost. Uh, I don't want to learn about it. Okay, so if we click down here, 
Select a character, equip the character, heal the character. Okay, so things are pretty basic. I think everyone's pretty healthy right now. Item skills, shotgun, cool. Okay, I mean, eventually, if we play this enough, we would learn what all this means. Empty, frowny face. I like that. All right. I guess here's our, our, only, our only place to go, the unvisited location. We're still on the outskirts of this Moroccan village. Oh, my God. Okay, we... Oh, we can scroll. Cool. All right, let's do it. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited to go on our first adventure here. Unvisited location. Let's do it. All right. You reach the outer buildings of a small settlement. A surprise awaits you at the center of the village. It's a brand new Jeep. An ill-tempered looking man stands beside the vehicle. We're going to have to fight him for it. I gave a dozen good camels for this worthless heap of junk. Shame beyond my head. Something is wrong with the Jeep. Perhaps there's an opportunity for you. Hmm. Let's buy some gasoline. You soon reach an agreement. The man sells you all his gas at a reasonable price. Okay, right-click on the bag with your valuables to sell. Right-click on any one of your items to sell. Click on the trader's items to purchase. Okay, so... Wait, what? Is this the stuff he has to sell? Does he have, like, sniper rifles and stuff? Sir, you have lots, a lot more than just gas. Okay, I think I just bought some fuel. I think I bought more. It's costing more than... Oh, 125. I only saw the five. Okay. Sir, 125 per thing of gas. I think you are price gouging. Okay, we have two options here. I don't think there's a time limit, so I kind of want to explore this whole region. So we'll go here and then here, maybe. Let's see what we got going on. The event will start off slow, guys. and not, We're going to hit Nazis eventually. We're going to hit Nazis eventually, trust me. Um, I'm just going to adjust this here. Okay. Um, the old well shaft in the village runs. Okay, hold on. Sorry. I'm like fiddling with volumes. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Okay. I'm satisfied. The old well shaft in the village runs completely dried up. All you see at the bottom of the well are a few moss covered boulders surrounded by dry clay soil. But wait! What's that glittering between the stones? What secrets is this old well hiding? Well, we gotta find out, don't we? Hmm. Hey, decisions with consequences that vary for the better or worse. I like how the game has to explain what a decision is to me. I've made decisions before, come on. Unfortunately, you can't say anything clearly. The well shaft is made of rough, uneven stone blocks with a little uh, skill. Should be possible to climb down. Okay. Let's do it. This choice may yield positive or negative outcome. Roll the dice. Carefully climb down. You hear a loud curse. Jackson has slipped and crashed down the shaft. Uh-oh. But are there any Nazis down here? With incredible good fortune, Jackson manages to land... Manages to land on his feet unharmed. We take a closer look at the rocky ground. And what do we find? Whoa, a secret passage discovered a tarnished copper ring embedded in the wall. When you pull on it, you hear a faint click. Part of the masonry swings to the side and reveals a small, narrow passage. Well, we gotta keep rolling the dice on this one, guys. Gamble. Oh my god, look at all those skulls. You follow the passage and reach a small chamber. You see a small, malignant looking altar surrounded by a small pile of human bones. I have... They and me have different definitions of a small amount of human bones. Uh, I'd say that's a lot. The room has an aura of evil. Then your gaze falls on the treasures placed on the altar. I'm going to keep gambling. Got to keep looking at this. Look at the altar. Left click on the loot. Oh my god, there's three boxes. Okay, let's start here. Ooh. Ornate ceremonial crown. A legendary item. Random stash of adventurer supplies. Okay, sure. And a bowl, a tarnished, that bowl's worth $105. The world was a very different place in the 1930s. All right, we did it. Left click on the bar at the bottom of the screen to open the team screen. Okay. What does it want me to do here? Just look at stuff. 
Oh, can I... I can't click on this? Interesting. I guess this is just a sack of valuable things. All right. Well, hopefully we can barter that and buy some supplies. I don't know how much fuel we have. Oh, we have 14. Okay. <laughs> the skull room is awesome. Uh, I like the I like the graphics in this game especially. Uh, so you stumble across a German military camp. The soldiers lounge around listlessly in the ruins. They have not noticed you. Oh, we gotta have a fight here. German military camp. Look at what they're guarding. It's so valuable. A jack. The battle commences. All right, here we go, guys. Our first fight. I don't even. I don't know what's gonna go on. Okay, click on the green starting tiles to place your characters. Okay. So my guess is we kind of want some degree of cover. So one guy. So this guy's an assault. Ru oh wait. I see a Nazi dog. Oh, there's Nazis down here. Okay, hold on. So we want to be down here. Um, how about this guy goes here? I don't know if he's going to be able to shoot the dog or not. Actually, why don't we... You go here. Guy, you're facing the wrong way, dude. Okay, we'll put Natalia here and our prince here. All right. Player turn. Uh, you start the battle with your own turn before the enemy can react. Okay. Can I shoot this dog? I cannot. Ranged attack. Oh, I totally can. Oh! I killed a dog. Awesome. Okay, there's more dogs. I wonder if they're just going to run at us. Can I reload? When in low profile, this character receives guaranteed evade. Fires too bravery. Oh, I'm going to waste my... Like you know, okay. Now we say this guy can punch, shotgun blast, block. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. End our turn. I want to see what the enemy does here. You guys show me how to play. Oh, okay. All right. So probably have to kill those guys. Looks like they're trying to kill us. Maybe I should have actually killed more than just a dog on my first turn. Oh, God. Oh, the dogs are coming for us. Oh, he bit me. I might have rabies now. All right. Uh, kill this dog. Yes. At ranged attack. I do 31 to 39. 100% chance that dog is done. Each character may perform a maximum of two actions. Uh, one attack. Ma wait, wait, a maximum of one attack and one movement, or up to two neutral actions. Okay. Well, here's my other action. Flee! <laughs> Kill a dog and run. A unit is in cover as soon as it is directly horizontal or vertically adjacent to a piece of cover. Okay, good. So I'm in cover. Now. We'll kill this. In the oh, no. Only 45% chance. Oh! He took a bullet to the gut. And now we also flee! <laughs> we are cowards, guys. We're not heroic. Okay, let's try and kill this guy. Oh, yeah! First blood. We're gonna take that Nazi's blood and pour it on the sacrificial altar. And then we flee. All right. When planning your movement to a new position, press tab to see what enemies can be attacked. Oh! And what the hit probability is. This will also indicate enemies out of range. Um, when you attack an enemy, the tooltip. Cool. This game's pretty intuitive, I would say. Um, all right. Enemy turn. Have at it, enemies. Oh, man. They have range. Oh, God. This guy's taking hits, man. No, dog. Doggo. That was entirely too close. Okay. They, they clearly want to kill this dude here. 50% chance, 50% crap. Want to tab for details? It's 100%. Interesting. Um, okay. Let me... What do I want to do here? Can I select her instead? Can I go into attack mode? I cannot hit any of those guys. Hmm. Um, okay. Can I attack? Okay, I can't, I can't hit anyone. 
All right, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to move into danger. I think it's the only way. It's the only way to save our Indiana Jones character. And we're gonna go attack. Okay, that guy's dead. Ah! Boom! Eat it, Nazi. I eat Nazis for breakfast. And I guess we'll go here. Actually, you know what? So I, my hope is that this guy can just kill the dog and then run even further away. So let's try this. Boom, he killed the dog. Oh, and there's nowhere for him to go. Uh-oh. Dash. Move to an adjacent position up to two tiles away. Doesn't use any action points, but does cost a bravery. That is useless. How about... Is there anything I can do to, like, get into more cover? What is, is that barrel explosive? Is that why it's hot, glowing? Okay, I'm kind of screwed here, so I don't know. I guess do that. <laughs> All right, now this guy's going to come down here. We're going to unload on this guy. Ah! Boom! I should have some more cartridges somewhere. Oh, he needs to reload. All right, enemy's turn. Oh, they missed. You're done, Nazi. Run back to, run back to Adolf. We're coming for you. Uh, what are, what are Indiana Jones's good one-liners? He has like a ton of them, doesn't he? Um, oh shoot, I, I should have reloaded and shot. What a waste of a turn. Okay, well I guess she was just missed. And, I don't know. Go over here, I guess. And this guy, can we heal? Does he have any healing? Bleed. Bleed causes melee damage. No, knife attack. How much does a knife attack damage? Like, how much damage can he do with a knife attack? I wonder. Hit Chad. <laughs> Don't knife the barrel, dude. Burst fire allows you to target an enemy within, within a straight connected line. It uses one ammo for every target. Oh, this is like Indiana Jones's ability at the end of Last Crusade, when he's like on the tank and he shoots one bullet and it goes through like three Nazis all at once, and he like looks at the gun surprised. Um, all right, I guess. I guess I should get into combat with this guy. I don't want him to die, but I think he'll be okay. All right. We have to be brave, guys. We can't be cowering at the back of the battlefields here. Okay, we missed. We're screwed. A spare magazine would be helpful right now. Maybe the Nazi has to reload, too. Um. Oh, he shot me in the gut. Prince Omar, no! All right, Omar. I feel like his punch is not going to be very effective, but I'm just kind of curious what kind of damage he would do with a punch. Six to eight damage. Not worth it. How about a shotgun blast? Oh, that did not kill him. And okay, this guy wants the final shot. Reload. And... Oh. Okay, she's going to have the final shot. Somebody's going to kill this dude. Where is he? Oh, he's out of range! Alright, he gets... Bait. That dog. He gets one more round. Hopefully he doesn't kill one of us. Oh, you jerk. Oh, he's reloading. Guess what? He only has like one hit point left, so we actually are going to punch him to death. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Nazi get beaten to death? Oh, there you go. That guy must have been in rough shape. It's like a... One well-placed punch killed him. 73%. We took six turns. Oh, reload all our weapons. That's kind of handy. That's a nice feature. I don't know why the characters wouldn't do that automatically, but sure. Maybe there's reasons you wouldn't want to. I don't know. Ooh, now we get to explore the ruins. We have a tarnished bolo knife. More supplies. We'll just take those. Why not? A large ammo box. So we'll take that. And car fuel. Three, I think. Do we want the bolo knife? 10% crit chance. Bleed. Sure. And let's take a look at our characters here. 8 to 22. 23. Oh, this is a good knife, actually. So hold on here. Could we give it to this guy? Needle and thread. 
what does this do? Repair kit. Okay, can I move that here? Can you use a bolo knife? He cannot. The knife confuses him. He's like, what is this knife? Um, can we really not equip that? No. We can't equip that. All right. I guess you need the knife skill. <laughs> I was never trained to hold a knife. This guy can use assault rifles and shotguns. And grenades. That's pretty good. How do we heal him? May use daredevil event options. Uh, skill trees and stuff too. I think we need a med kit. That's how you heal people. We do not have one yet. Alright. We'll carry on. I don't know if we're going to get someone killed needlessly, but we'll carry on. Take all items done. Get to the destination on the other side of the map. Okay. I think if we kind of go up here towards town, we might have a chance to heal. That's my guess. So we'll kind of do this. Take a little roundabout adventure here. As you come around the corner, you see a couple of rusty fuel canisters. They turn out to be completely empty. Well, waste my time more, why don't you? Let's go ahead and waste it. I got nothing but time right now. Something isn't right at the farmstead you just came across. When you go to investigate the buildings, German soldiers appear at the windows with their weapons drawn. All right. What are all these Germans doing in Africa, anyway? Just hanging out in Africa, a bunch of Nazis. Is that what happened in the 30s? Hey, where are these guys? Oh, there's a Nazi dog. <laughs> there's another one. I'm just imagining, like, it's just dogs. Like, there's no soldiers. It's like, hey, it's a bunch of Nazis. It's like a pack of six dogs. It's like, how do you know they're Nazis? They're just dogs. I just know. I can smell. That That dog has fascist tendencies. Oh, there's a human. Okay, so there's at least one Nazi human. Okay, and I guess this is the only place we can be, so... We'll just go, like, uh, whatever. Here. We have a bunch of dogs with fascist tendencies and one guy. One guy who believes in absolute power. You know what, though? Let's see. Use med kit on target to heal or revive people when they are knocked out. Can I use it? Wait. I, I guess I, I guess this guy has to get knocked out. Oh, I just kissed him and gave him, what, 30 health? Wait, is that what happened? Oh! A kiss of life. All right. I, I'm happy we have the Russian on the team. Um, okay, we're going to kill this dog over here. Plan number one, kill the dogs. Wait, what? What? What happened? I'm confused. Uh, doesn't he get two turns? Okay. Uh, well, this guy, okay. So this guy can come over here. <laughs> What are they jumping over? Wait, why does he get... Okay, something is... They're jumping over something, and it's spending their whole turn. Now a dog's gonna bite us. Oh, there's all, there's a human there, too. Oh, thank God he missed. Oh, there's another one. These guys are coming out of the woodwork. All right, dogs. Oh, that dog's stupid. Well, that, that dog's stupid, too. Oh, no, he isn't. German shepherds. This is also a very lush desert environment, you know. It's very green. More green than you might expect for a desert. I'm just saying. How much damage do I do? So if I do 23 tw or 24, the dog lives. 25 or 26, it dies. So I have a 50-50 shot of killing this dog. But I have a 100% chance of hitting it, so... Oh! One hit point away! What? Oh, that sucks. These guys have 40 health. And I can do... No, there's no... I can't kill him in one shot. And... Oh, I'm so close. What a waste. Alright. Well, that sucks. You know what? I could just go and knife this guy. Knifing a target. I feel like 22 damage when I knife a guy. 
about this? This guy's gonna come over here and knife this Nazi. He's all into the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ugh, 19 points of damage. And this guy... I don't know. I guess I'll shoot a dog. I guess he could just punch it. Why not? <laughs> just beat that dog to death. Nobody can withstand Prince Omar. Um, wish I could shoot my gun, too. Target or restore armor. How about you restore your own armor? Oh, there we go. That's something that's useful. And throw bait that attracts dogs and zombies. Okay, spoilers. There are zombies in this game. Uh, I guess she will... Oh, we'll just come over here. Why not? See, they're jumping over something that I think used up their whole turn. That's why I didn't get to shoot before. That guy's running. Oh, dick. He's fleeing the mighty fists. Oh my god, that guy's so going down now. Oh. Yes. No, don't let me Nazi dog. Freaking Nazi dogs. Hmm. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage here. First of all... I think I can just straight up shoot this guy. Yeah, he's just totally dead. I have a 50 shot. I took the chance, and it was the right move. Now we're going to run into cover and hope we don't die. I should probably just start using my bravery abilities. Maybe. Um, okay, so she's going to run over here like this. And hopefully kill a dog. Boom! Oh, 36 damage! You go, girl. First aid, restore 25%. Maybe we'll try that. Let's kill this dog. We will heal. Alright, some actions are special actions require bravery. Successful attacks or healing of allied characters will regenerate. Okay. So I was being really cautious with bravery, but I should probably just be spending it, because it sounds like you just get that back. Ooh. Sweet. Yes, run to run towards me. Yes, you run towards me too. No one can hit Prince Omar. He's just dodging bullets like Neo. Okay, this guy though needs, this guy needs help. He's severely injured. Use medkit on target to heal or revive. Oh, he's just, oh. <laughs> Why didn't I move closer? Um, okay, let's take a shot at that guy. Then we'll, you know what, we'll hold on for her for a second. Can I shoot at this guy? Oh, I totally can. I was gonna say I might be able to just kill him, but I guess not. Character receive guaranteed evade. All right, we're going for it. Low profile. Now she's going to come over here so that next turn she can heal him. Now this guy. I have a plan here, guys. It doesn't look like it, but I have a plan. Oh. Boom. Killing that guy. Reload required. He's just straight up going to reload in the middle of the battlefield. He don't care. He's a distraction. Cool. Only eight damage, though. The Nazis have good range, but they do not do very much damage. Time to heal. Boom! Oh, 30 hits! Yes, that is a heal. Alright, he is. He can help kill this guy now. Open fire, baby. Oh, miss! Uh, Omar needed to reload, doesn't he? Or he's reloaded. Boom! I wish I could shoot again. When hunkered down, you take 75% less damage. I am instead going to heal. Why not? I think I'm wasting resources when I do that, but whatever. And, all right, we're done. You better run, buddy. You're not winning this fight. Oh, he is. Oh, he's still mad. <laughs> you dick. He fired over his shoulder as he was fleeing. Still got me. One for the road, eh? And guess what? Two can play at that game. 
Nazi scum. Reload our weapons. Three Nazis and three dogs. I'm kind of afraid for when we eventually encounter things like zombies. I feel like I'm barely, barely able to fight off a couple of dogs. Zombies would be worse. Although zombies are slow. So maybe it'd be easy. Alright, what do we got? What the hell is this? Improved Klugenstein beam rifle? What the hell? We're taking it. Supplies. Ooh, a Nazi cross. And fuel. What the hell is this thing? Okay, hold on. This, this just got interesting. Oh god, zombie dogs. Don't even joke, man. <laughs> zombies... Zombies are bad enough, not zombie dogs. You know what, we'll cross that bridge if we get there. 36 to 40, that means I could theoretically one-shot a Nazi. But minus 15% accuracy. But good crit chance. I mean, we're, we're definitely equipping this. The barrel's a little deformed on my old gun. The latest technology from the German Reich's deadly Tesla Borgs. My god. It's like, uh, it's kind of like more, more like the Nazis from, uh, Captain America. Hey, wait, I can't equip this? What? What? Skill required. Oh, no! I haven't learned Nazi energy weapon skills. See, it says skill required and it's circled in red. Crap. Can I, can these guys get upgraded? Skill tree. Mm. I don't see Nazi energy weapon technology on this list. Oh wait, they do have experience. So like one more fight and we might get to level up. Alright. Um, can you just heal this guy? Can you guys heal one another outside of combat? I don't know how to do it. I don't think you can. Friend in need. Alright. Well, you know what? We're, we're gathering up the Nazi technology we need. But yeah, it's kind of a cross between like Indiana Jones Nazis and like Nazis from uh, the first Captain America. Hydra. Hail Hydra. The building ahead of you is part of a simple supply chain. Fuel is no problem if you can pay for it. 240 for two gas. I guess that's good, but like we only have 250 less. Capacity 9,999. We're not going to buy the fuel. We don't want to spend all our money. What What is that, too? So there's question mark ones. I feel like the question mark ones will be more interesting. Okay, let's try and make it over to one of these. Stop our dilly-dallying. So, I guess we'll go here. Maybe I'll go here, 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 here. And we can always backtrack again. Halting near a group of bushes, you suddenly notice a snake! Oh my god, a snake! You cautiously move on. Guys, we encountered a snake. <laughs> Thrilling stuff. Um, you cannot miss the wire-mocked vehicles at the edge of the ruined village, so you approach with care. In the village square, you see a, a goat surrounded. You see a goat, a goat herd. Oh, jeez, I was reading that as one word. Surrounded by a large unit of German soldiers, you cannot make out what's going on, but the mood is tense. We attack Nazis on sight, guys. I know we're on some kind of mission to save someone or something, but we're also here to wipe out Nazis. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves. All right, one Nazi dog, three Nazis, two dogs, three dogs. It's always, why is it always the same? They send three Nazis and three dogs out in a simple crew, always. <clears throat> All right. Um. So our plan is to kill that dog and then run into cover, I guess. Um, who needs to be healed? I think the, the Omar guy does. Okay, so this guy can go there. And then she can go there, and he can go there. And first things first, yeah, he needs healing. So you heal him. Boom. We got to uh, click here to claim. What, what did that do? Nothing? Is it just an achievement? Okay, we'll come back to her. Actually, maybe she should take the first shot. Kill him! Ah, oh, she missed. Alright. He 
You can take the... Oh my god, he's out of range. Are you serious? Alright, all the dogs... 50-50, the dog's dead. Boom! Eat it, doggo. And... I'm gonna, like, go straight into cover here, like a full brick wall. I wanna, like, lure these Nazis into, like, the crossfire. That's my goal. Um, so... I feel like I have to get pretty close. Alright, you know, he just got healed. He's going in. Prince Omar is... Oh, I can't even hit anyone! Damn it! Well, this is a big waste. Okay, you know what? Hunker down. And... Our healer. Oh, she's done. Okay. I guess once she heals, she can't do anything else. This guy's coming in from the side. Oh yeah, you miss. Okay, we've successfully lured them into a choke point, but I don't think we have enough firepower to actually take them out, so... Oh my god, there's a sniper! Hey, there's four Nazis! I wasn't even paying attention. I said they're always sending three Nazis and a dog, but I guess we're getting into four Nazi territory. Alright, now, let's see if she can kill a dog. 23 or 24, it lives. 25 and 20, so we've got 50-50 shot. Boop! Yeah! Alright, we one-shotted the dog. That, that's the kind of stuff we need to start doing more of. Okay, so if I attack with my weapon, it is something like... My weapon does... Oh. Oh! Oh! No! 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 Damn it! Okay. Well, you know what? We're just giving the enemy a free turn. Didn't mean to do that. Oh. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I made a huge mistake. This was a colossal... Damn it. Okay. Uh, our prince is dying. Okay, you know what? We're going in. Burst fire. Aha. Uh -huh. See, I could get... Maybe... Oh, yeah. Alright. So I could get, like, those guys. Both of them. We're doing it. Yeah! Alright. That was worth it. Two guys almost dead. And now she can finish off one of them. Mm, I guess it doesn't matter which one she shoots. Uh, but it matters if she misses. Okay, I'm going to have her come over here to, like, get ready to heal this guy. This guy's in a lot of pain. So we will... We can kill this dog. Wait, what? What happened? Okay, just kill your armor. Um. All right. I think I think Sala, Prince Omar, there is going down. Oof. And our dog might be too. Damn that 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 accidentally skipped turn. Oh shoot, she is down. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, the accidentally skipped turn I think cost us the the ra the the whole game. I think we're screwed now. Ah oh, damn it. Okay, this one guy. The number uh, over the head of an unconscious character indicates the number of turns until they perish. Move a character with the heal ability. I don't have heal abilities. Oh, I'm in a lot of trouble. I think I'm in a lot of trouble, guys. My nicest dog. Not worth it. Alright, well, I guess I might as well kill the dog. And start fleeing. <clears throat> I mean, in theory... Like, those, those guys are dead. In theory, I... There's two Nazis that are just a shot away from dying. The thing is, if only I could shoot more than once a turn. That's the thing that's kind of holding me back. And I can't use the Nazi energy gun. You bastard. You sniping bastard. You know what? When, uh, when the chips are down, you got to cut your losses. And, uh, you know, here we go. Burst fire. 
God, why aren't you guys in the line? He's not in the line. Let's kill this guy. Mind fuel! Yeah, you miss, buddy. Get in a line. Okay, they're in a line, but they're too far away. You know what I what I have learned from this little uh this test run is that we need to use the abilities a lot more. Yeah, that guy's dead. She's about to die too. I wonder if I win this fight if they'll come back. Oh, can't get them both. Kill him. Yang my Nine! What is it? Oh, I know a, a one-liner. Uh, Indiana Jones says, Nazis. I hate these guys. That's a good one. Alright, she's dead. I don't even have the ability to heal myself if I want. Sucks. Right. Low profile. Guaranteed to be. Might as well use it. I'm just gonna start using my abilities. That was entirely too close, old chap. Oh God, can't believe I'm still alive. We definitely have to kill that sniper dude. How much health does he have? 35. I have one hit point left. All right guys, this is it. What do you guys think? Take, I'm taking bets now. Do you think I'll kill this guy? I, In theory, I could one shot him. I could do 35 damage. This guy would have to then miss. Oh, 32. Maybe I should have killed him instead. All right. My fate is now in the hands of the RNG gods. Miss. Even if I survive this round. Oh, thank God I did. I did. Okay, there's still one more round to survive. Here's my strategy. I'm going to run all the way over here so that this guy is going to have a hard time getting me. I'm going to knife this guy. Oh. <laughs> Take the serrated edge of that blade right to the guy's throat. Oh, that guy didn't even get a shot off. Oh, this is it. We won. <laughs> we won. Let's go knife this guy, too. Can we do that? We're not even wasting ammo on these guys now. We're going, like, uh, commando style. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we won! I screwed up royally. I screwed up real bad. High fives all around. Uh, I'm totally on my own now. I think my other two people are straight up dead. Although, I don't know. Do they come back between combat? Oh, they're gone. No, they're dead. And I have no way to heal. As far as I understand. Trophies? Team? I am a daredevil. A loner daredevil. Alright. <clears throat> Be like med packs and stuff. Ooh, a nice knife. I will take that. Tarnished Herzog. Schenfleur. I love the names of these German guns. A limp dog biscuit. Ew. A tarnished copper button and a bit of fuel. What is this? Penicillin syringe. Don't give gangrene a chance. All right. Um, after the sound subsides, the nomad reappears behind the rocks. Um, he thanks you for the effusively in an unfamiliar language. Unfortunately, the man's dialect is unknown to you, so you do not understand a word he says. You politely bid farewell. I bet if you had a character that spoke the language, there'd be other options there. Uh, head bowed, you stare silently ahead of you. When you finally sit down exhausted, you feel totally drained. So tired. Yeah, I'm bleeding to death. You look up at the sound of soft paws in the desert sounds. Emerging from between the rocks, you spot it. Oh my god. Instinctively reach for a weapon, but the animal appears to be alone, just like you. Hesitantly, the black dog trots towards you. Is this like the equivalent of dog meat from the Fallout series? <laughs> Yeah, RNG is everything in this game, man. In these games, that I thought I thought this run was done and we would restart, but oh, having the limp biscuit, interesting, attracts the dog. She scratches neck. You find a German dog tag. 
Fenris, huh? Do they treat you badly, you little deserter? The dog yaps eagerly, as if in agreement. He then pants excitedly and wags his tail. All right, well, we, we got a companion. Uh, confidence flows through you. Get in the car and pat encouragingly in the passenger seat. Come on, boy, we've got work to do. Hey, we've just earned a companion. Woof, woof. Fenris. Jesus! 30, 35 damage. And he has 60 hit points. This dog can take more bullets than I can. And he has armor, too. Dear God. Fenris. You know what's going to happen? Jackson's going to die, and this is going to become the Fenris adventure. Jackson can only take one hit, and he's done. <clears throat> All right, here, here's the choice. North or south, what do we think? If we go north, it's kind of near a village. Maybe we could get healed. South is just in the middle of the desert. I don't know. Um, I guess there's no other hints about what to do. North. All right, we're going north. North it is. The Black Market. Ooh, Black Market here could be in league with the rebels. We have plenty of gas, ammunition. 20 ammunition for 5 gas. So we're kind of okay on everything. Um, leave. <laughs> Alright, we're going to this one. The question mark. Here we go. Hopefully this is something good. I could use, like, a camp or something. Even from a distance, you can see that something is wrong in the village ahead of you. So you approach cautiously, using low walls for cover. Your instincts did not deceive you. A group of German soldiers! Oh yes, German soldiers. They occupy the village, rounding up its inhabitants. Attack! Uh, this option uses a character perk your team does not possess. Interesting. This option uses a character perk. It generally yields positive outcome. Ooh! Daredevil! We're totally doing it. What happens? Uh, while you were discussing what to do, suddenly you notice that Jackson has gone. <laughs> yeah, I like our group that was discussing what to do was a dog. <laughs> the dog noticed that we're gone. Uh, a few seconds later, a massive explosion tears through the silence. Several German shoulders, soldiers left writhing on the ground, screaming. The rest of the Germans take cover and open file, fire while peasants run for safety. I think Jackson just went on a suicide run. Might have got himself killed. Planning phase. All right, Jackson is inside the green area. Yeah, that's, he's dead. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, that was weird. My video just cut out briefly. Okay, things to, seem to still be going well in the stream. All right, uh, I guess we'll go here. And Fenris the dog. All right, Fenris will go on the outside, I guess. All right, this not these. This looks like a normal soldier, and that's a normal soldier, and that's a normal soldier. But this guy looks like he's in an Iron Man suit. What is this guy? Uh, the enemy moves after you've placed your characters. Okay. A shock trooper. Crazy. Well, let's uh, have the dog take care of this. Bleed cause melee damage additional. Okay. Oh, what the heck? My audio cut out, or my video keeps cutting out. Enemy armor reduces their damage. Each hit reduces armor protection. However, some types of damage impede more or less. All right, good to know. Thanks for that random tip. Um, okay, there's another Nazi shock trooper. Oh, there's a dude down here. Boom! And low profile. <laughs> okay, so it turns out healers are pretty important in this game. Oh, he shot my dog. And he ran like a coward. Healers are pretty important. There must be a way to generally get healing abilities in this game. Oh, shoot. That guy is, like, out of range. Hmm. I kind of don't want to chase him because I don't want to be in range of these guys. Let's do this. Oh shoot, I can't even get near those guys. 
Uh, this is probably going to be the end of uh, end of us. But what is this? Cleave. Tack up the three targets right in front of you. Oh wow! Man, this dog is awesome. Yo, my fear. All right. Uh, over here. Oh, I do have line of sight on that guy. I wish I could do more damage, but I just can't. Boom. Oh, that's so cool. He d he walked out of cover, shot him, got back in cover. Whoa. So maybe I will be protected. Oh, yeah, that guy's just fleeing. He didn't have a line of sight on me. Okay, I'm, I'm learning. I'm understanding more about cover here. <laughs> uh... I cannot believe this guy is like doing this by himself. Imagine how easy this would be if I had still had a full crew of two other people. I'm a whole man down here. Okay, doggo's running up. Fenric the dog. I wonder if these Germans recognize the dog. They're like, Fenric, you traitor! Hunker down. Not necessary. I'm just gonna end my turn. We're in a pretty good spot. Guy is running away. They're, I think they're too afraid to come around the corner, honestly. Um, okay. Can I shoot these guys? Yeah, I'm just sending the dog in, man. We're not taking any chances. It's like vicious alien dog. What does this do? Oh man, that's like a one-shot kill. So is that though. <laughs> One kill ten enemies with a single shot. Ain't me, man. It's all this dog. Dog is a killing machine. Okay, but we do want we do want the human to have the last last shot. So just run up here, gun him down. You're not a scumbag. I hope in one of the random encounters you actually have to put on a Nazi's uniform like Indiana Jones does. Go undercover. I wonder what the dog reloads. He like brushes his teeth, gets ready for the next chomp. All right, left click at the bottom of the screen, press I, left click. Oh, we leveled up. Jeez, I cannot believe this is still going on. Take this, this, medium armor, a pea coat. We will put that on. Um. As the last shot dies away, the villagers cautiously emerge from their huts. The village elders thank you profusely. Then he points despondently at the village well. The soldiers destroyed our well. Help us. Our livestock will die of thirst. I wish I could, man. You know what? The guy who repairs stuff? Yeah, he died a while ago. The appearance of the well has been blown up by a German hand grenade. I hope the farmers will be able to dig their own well again because you don't have the time. I like how they're worried about the well, but they have, like, flowing water around their houses. Drink that, you fool. Hey, what is... Wait, is that where I am? Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, no, wait. Why did I go back to that? Oh, there's stuff. Wait. Did I not take this? I'm so confused. Use it to fill up your Jeep's tank. Oh, this is a market. I just spent my money. I'm stupid. Right-click to sell valuables. Painkiller. Requires a skill, though. I'm dumb. I just wasted money on fuel. You know what? Might as well sell stuff. Supplies. Ammo. We don't need any of that. Okay. Let's, um... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Rest up. <gasps> Ooh, the man dishes up mountains of uh, couscous with chickpeas and mutton. Hmm, delicious. After the meal, you're offered a fragrant mint tea. Hours later, you bid farewell to the man. Oh my god. We healed! <laughs> we found a way to heal. Oh, thank god. I mean, we're still screwed. We're, you know what? We're delaying the inevitable. It's kind of hilarious, because, like, really, our run should have ended. But we, like, the game kind of keeps tossing us a bone, so we keep hanging on by, like, the skin of our teeth. Why did I not upgrade my knife? I should have. That's a pretty badass knife. We gotta get into doing like 40 plus damage a, a turn so that we can be killing these Nazis in one shot. Yeah, like 
we should be replacing this gun. Oh, it shows you the gun you have equipped. So big, bigger range, more armor shredding, more critical damage. We totally should be using this gun. I really wish you could use the Nazi laser gun though. Be so cool. All right, level up. What do we got? Each time you level up, you can choose a new advantage. Okay. So dash sucks. Cleave. That one sucks. During the next turn, this character will perform a counterattack on the first enemy attacking them. Oh. Sounds pretty cool. What are all these other ones here? Oh, it doesn't tell you what they do. All right, we'll do counterattack. Interesting. So if you get up to like the high levels, you probably get all sorts of ooh, cool abilities. Oh, agility. Oh wait, it does tell you. Magazine size, critical hits, shredding. Yeah, those, those are okay. Target ally will receive a morale boost, giving them plus five agility. If attack is successful, the target will be killed instantly. All right, so there's some cool things we could eventually get. I want to see my dog up upgrade. What kind of abilities does he get? Oh, he he's an anti-fascist dog. <laughs> he has anti-fascist tendencies. Um, so you get more armor, more damage, more damage. More damage. He's just a damage machine. Black as night. All right, doggo. I'm glad we did go back to heal. I say, you know what? There's only two of us. We might be able to make it to the end here. Let's just try. Let's just go for it. Um, so ex exploration is fun, but when you've killed most of your crew in a very, very badly planned set of attacks, Come across remains of a desperate battle. Over countless years, the desert sands were claimed what was once denied them. Okay. Wait, which one do we want? Is this it? Or is this it? I think this is where we want to go. We've not yet visited. All right, this is the X. X marks the spot. Okay, we're going to go to the X then. I think we can make it. Party minus one fuel. You're making excellent progress. Morale's high. Realization suddenly hits you. You didn't drive past those palm trees a while back. Yes, those are your tire tracks. You've been driving in... Oh, I got lost. We did not have a party. We got lost. Now we're making progress now. No Nazis, for as far as the eye can see. Uh, you are racing along the endless desert track when suddenly a massive jet stream and hot water shoots out of the front of your Jeep. Uh-oh. Radiator. Step on the brakes, get out. Fortunately, the engine is in good working order. You take a forced brake and look for the radiator cap. Uh, with new water, you continue on your journey. All right, nothing happened. Well, this one has a target. Ooh, look at this. Man, look at the lighting effects too. These are dynamic lighting effects, so the game is pixel arted, but like the characters are still drawn with voxels somehow so that they can do very cool lighting effects. It's very neat. There's even um, I think transitions where it goes from night to day and you just see the shadows change anyway a lonely desert temple rises from the dunes ahead of you the entrance is half buried but you manage to squeeze through inside you find a squad of Germans oh, with the Germans you were spotted immediately enemy soldiers open fire alright Indiana Jones works best alone and so do I me and a dog is all that we need in a temple too this is so cool um, strategy strategy okay, let's let's go up That's my idea all right you nazi scum oh that nazi's getting bitten to death he just ran into a corner we're totally sending our dog after him oh we can have dog on dog combat in this one too so first of all, can I shoot these guys? I can. I don't have a great shot of killing him. Oh, and he's a sniper too. Hmm. Okay. Where 
whereas this guy... How much damage did I do? I don't even know. Oh, well, it says here, 30 to 35. Okay, so let's shoot this one first. Boom! Oh, we just killed him! Alright, things are looking up. Well, let's go bite this Nazi dude. hi -oh, Wolf, wolf, wolf! And... You bit! Oh, we killed him! <laughs> Damn! Alright. Vengeance is ours, boys. We got these Nazi scumbags right where we want them. So no other Nazis have range on me, so I can go, like, basically right here. Be nice and safe. Alright, we're done. What are they gonna do? This guy's going through the room. Shows that dog. Ooh! Nobody bites my dog. Gets away with it. I'm gonna shoot the dog. Kaboom. And then my dog is gonna come and bite your dog! Or your human. Whichever one I decide is tastier. I don't want my dog to die, but I feel like... You know what? No matter where he goes in that room, he's going to be vulnerable to attack. So we might as well have a choice here. Um, oh, that shock trooper could die. Yes, we want to kill him. Yayan! <laughs> you just get got bit by an anti-Nazi dog, buddy. When in low profile... Okay, we don't need that just yet. Yeah, we totally got this. Unless I screw up and just give up a turn. Like I have done before. Um, Alright. We can actually probably knife this dog. Yeah, it's a guaranteed kill. Boom. Out of here. Get out of here, pup. And... I think I will go over here so I don't get flanked. Is there anyone left? No, it's just this one dude. This one's really scared Nazi. Who's about to get bit to death. Boom. 50 points! Fenris, you machine! We slaughtered them. Alright, back to the map. Who needs a healer? We don't need no healer. We got this. We got this game. Jeep storage. What is this? Anchor chief. A monocle! Empty snuff box. So, wow. For raiding an ancient Nazi temple, we kind of got crap. We just got a bunch of... We got, like, literally random junk. All right. I think we might be able to beat this. We're, like, one mission away. The inner courtyard of the ruined... Te oh, God. There's been a native massacre here. The bodies of several half-naked men and many dead Bedou Bedouins... Lie in a semicircle around the unsettled statue. This was obviously the scene of a desperate struggle. As you search this place, you find a veiled woman among the bodies, gasping for air. Um, let's help her. Your gaze falls on the woman's lifeless body. Unfortunately, she's bound to help. In the twisted hands of the cultist, you find a strange copper figurine. The grotesque likeness of a pharaoh with a face of pitch black onyx. Gives off a strange, disturbing aura. You cannot bring yourself to keep the monsters. The monstrosity, so you throw as far as you can. Interesting. Alright. I think this is uh, the end of our first adventure here. Let's see what we got. You see the fortified base of the Excavation Regiment southwest in the valley. Uh, plain ahead. You have finally reached your goal. As you are considering how to make it through the heavily guarded entrance, you suddenly spot the lone Wehrmacht Jeep. Approaching your vehicle. Okay. Um, you hide behind rocks and wait for the patrol to disembark. Uh, I feel like I'm not hiding at all. Fenris is the right idea. So do these random dudes. Who are these guys? Then you take them by surprise. Tie them up. Oh, these are the Nazis we tied up. Oh my god, we, we are getting their borrowed uniforms. Literally, I just said that would be so cool if we could do that. The bored looking sentry waves your wire marked jeep through uh, with barely a glance. 
Awesome. Oh, we are infiltrating a Nazi camp. Disguised as German soldiers, you search the camp complex. Morton must be here somewhere. Your hearts race as you pass unnoticed through the crowds of enemy soldiers. Uh, you suddenly notice a small motorcade setting off. As it drives past, you spot Morton in one of the cars. You immediately jump into your captured jeep and tag onto the end of the convoy as it exits the camp and heads into the desert. After a few miles, the convoy stops at a smaller auxiliary base. You see Morton being led away. You don't have much time. Your friend's execution is imminent. Suddenly, you hear shots. You've been discovered. You look at each other with grim determination and load your weapons. This is it. Oh my god, we're at the final fight. Sniper rifles can be used to set ambushes. Is that what it said? Okay, we got a couple of Nazis. I see only two at the moment. Okay, there's a... F oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. So, I'm gonna go here. And here. Okay, so, there, Nazis are gonna be running all over the place here. The goal is to get into, like, solid cover. So, I gotta get to the buildings, I think. Up over there, that's the key. Woof, woof, woof. Okay, my turn. Um, all right. Uh, let's see here. Let's do the dog first. I think the dog might be able to one-shot this guy here. Uh, attack. Let's do enough damage. Okay, we're going to do a bleed attack. So bleed causes melee damage and additional damage the following turn. So this might kill him the next turn. Ooh, he only has two hit points left, so he's done. Um, okay, so if we come over here, where am I? Okay, I want to kind of head up that way. So run over here like this, and we will get this doggo. Kaboom. All right, there's our first move. I feel like I'm playing like a, a very high stakes game at chess here. Oh yeah, oh, the bleed move worked. Perfect. We can't, we can't afford to take more than like a hit. We're playing this very cautiously. Oh, you shot my dog, you jerk. Damn you, Nazi. Damn you. Dog is doing okay though. Well enough. That it can run over here. And bite this guy in the throat! Interesting, he gets bonus damage against some Nazis, but not others. It's like some Nazis aren't like fascist enough for the dog to care. But other Nazis, it's like, yeah, they're fascist jerks. Okay, and I can kill that guy too. Let's do that. And then we will run over here. All right. We're constantly sort of keeping the Nazis on the on the run here. This is working out well. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. They're going to get the dog. And grief. Oh. No. If we can get one or two more kills out of the dog and then the dog dies, and I think we can still win. But the dog is in, like, rough shape. Okay. Run up here. Okay, so this guy has 40 health. This guy has 30. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to try and do. Oh, wait, I know what I can do. Bleed reaction shot. I can do the burst fire. These guys are in a line. Finally. All right, do it. Oh, I missed that other guy. Are you kidding me? Damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, I might as well kill the medic. I think the dog is dead. I was hoping we would have got both of these guys. Yeah, the dog's dead. Damn it. 
So if we would have got both of those guys. And grief! Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the dogs do less damage though than the soldiers, so. This guy. Oh. Right. Next turn, I'm gonna have to like kill the dog and run up the building. We survived with one hit before, though. We can do it again. <laughs> I say, be feeling very unsure about this. How many guys are left? Is it just these two? Okay, so it's not too bad. So I can probably just knife this dog. Run for your life! Um, or, I could do this. Guaranteed evade. I'm gonna do that. That means this guy can't hit me. Guaranteed evade, buddy! What are you running to, buddy? Oh, he's just out of range, too. Okay, that's okay. I can go here. Oh, it is just him. It is just this guy. It is a one-on-one -on -one battle at this point. My dog is dead. Oh, and he's like staying out of range. This guy is smart, actually. Hmm. During the next turn, this character will perform a counterattack on the first enemy that attacks them. Okay, I can probably take two hits because they're only doing like 10 damage. Um, Counterattack. All right, let's uh, let's just try and end this. I feel like we're so close and we're gonna fail. Boom! All oh, 33 damage! Okay. As long as he doesn't one-shot me. Oh, 14! Oh, you're done! You're done! Okay, let's just uh, hopefully end this. Yeah! <laughs> I was gonna run away if that shot missed. I was just gonna flee. Alright, reload all our weapons. Let's see what we got. Shotguns can perform powerful blasts. When the guns finally fall silent and the smoke dissipates, Morton stumbles towards you. It's always good to know you can rely on your friends, although you took your sweet time about it. Dude, everyone who came to rescue you is dead, and even a dog that I met on the way to come rescue you who helped also died. <laughs> and I'm almost dead. You won't believe what I got my hands on in Casablanca. Too bad the Nazis took everything. Ah, well, maybe another time. All right, what do we got? Oh, oh, what is all this stuff? Take, we just a thousand dollars, a thousand and four dollars in cash. Why not? A Frost Bisher Boyd wall cutter. Interesting. It's clearly still in progress. So we got British made energy weapons now. The Splendid Heracult Lunit sniper rifle. Does 31 to 35. So I guess it just has like a low or a long range. And a grenade. Cool. Take it all. Chattering. Chattering excitedly, oh. you stroll back to your Jeep. You get in and drive into the setting sun while Morton entertains you with his absurd anecdotes. Yeah, we did it. Hey, we beat our first uh we beat our first pathway adventure. Cool. Just sort of adjusting the sound here again. Um, all right, time taken one hour and thirty six minutes. Fuel use eighteen. We killed a bunch of Nazos and a dog, but more dogs than Nazis. Well, more than individual Nazis, I guess. Put a lot of evil Nazi dudes. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another adventure here. I think so. This you know I'm just streaming this tonight, casual like so. I feel like I want to play probably at least till midnight. It's only 10. 
Um, so we're going to do another adventure. I'm going to take a short break here and like go to the washroom and get a drink and stuff. But I wonder if I can leave you on something cool. Pursue a new adventure. So we already did that one. So we got the, let's choose an adventure. Oh, we can only do one. Okay. Well, here you go, guys. Here's the adventure we're going to do. Uh, bathroom break time, everybody. We'll be back in just a minute or two, and then we'll carry on for the wrath of God. Alright, I'm back. Just got a vanilla Coke. I'm about to, I don't know if you heard that can opening. Getting it ready here to have something to sip on while I play. I always promise myself I'm gonna drink less pop. Like go just to water or something, but I'm really bad for that. I'm addicted, guys. I'm addicted to the sugar. Uh, all right. What do we got here? Wrath of God. Jerusalem, Palestine. Morton was quite right. The Nazis are up to something sinister. That's why you were hot on the heels of a German expedition to uh, Mount uh, Ararat. I to say that. They're searching for a mysterious object known as the Wrath of God. Foil their plans. Awesome. Combat size is good. My guess is that as you level up your characters, then it would make sense. Oh, these guys are just dead. Oh, it costs money to heal them. Oh, God. Oh, but I do have cash. So I can revive them if I want. Um, kill 50 undead to unlock. Interesting. Kill 100 Nazis. Re revive 15 characters. What skills that these people have? We gotta find someone who has the, um, close this. We gotta find somebody who has the electric thing, because we have, like, electric weapons. Maybe the doc does? Morton? Oh, he totally does. I don't want to bring him on our next adventure. Professor Mortimer Bellamy, American inventor. Disintegrator expert finds more fuel. We also need a healer, though. Brunhilda? all the skills everyone has. I'm looking for more um, electric ones. Is it only that one guy? He's the only one who can use these experimental weapons. Really? That is shocking. 
Reset his skill tree. Why would I do that? Okay, well, we need a healer. Let's just see if anyone else heals. Would make sense to bring another healer on board. Well, she does, but we don't have her unlocked. All right, let's heal. Uh, she's hospitalized. Unit is hospitalized. Oh my gosh, she has the electric thing too. Oh my god. Oh, it is sold. Okay, well, this guy's coming on because he's our most advanced dude. Um, we're bringing her too. And then... Screw it, let's do it. We're bringing this guy too. We're loading up on the electric weapons. We're gonna electrocute all the Nazis. Equip your characters. Oh, we'll equip our characters. Too bad we don't have anyone who uses the, uh, uh, you know, laser or sniper rifle. So. I think the doc's gonna use the Nazi weapon. And he can also heal stuff. Repair people and things, I guess. Oh, we can buy extra ammo and fuel and stuff. I don't think we need any of that. Uh, her. We can also give her... Yes. Much more damage. Actually, you know what? These laser weapons suck. They're like no more better than the pistol, but they have less accuracy. Yeah, screw it. Forget it. All right, and this guy here, he's already equipped. All right, depart. Looks good. Ah, vanilla coke's good. The caffeine and sugar is coursing through my veins, reinvigorating me for another adventure here. I kind of feel like the, the, playing this game is like playing an old school RPG an or something view with friends. Of the heights and valleys of Palestine. A large cloud of dust on the dirt track below marks out a large German convoy. So X is where we need to get to. Them. Uh, your gun. You gun your engine. You have no intention of losing the race for the wrath of God. The wrath of God does not sound like something you want. It sounds like something you want to avoid. And there's lots of places to go. What is that? Little person icon. And what is down here? Okay, I guess we want to go to the left. So I think as your characters get more and more powerful and higher level, then it's like, you know, you can handle exploring these maps more. But I feel like my guys are so weak that I don't want to you know, go too far. They're all just going to die if I do. So, yeah, we're going to we're going to take the shortest distance to the end. Between the crooked huts of a deserted village, you find a dusty old wrecked car. The passenger door screeches as you as you pull it open. What a pile of garbage. You tap at the tank anyway to check for gasoline. So, ooh, the engineering skill. We might as well take advantage. What do you got there? Oh my god, it's a hidden door. You're in luck. The engine actually starts, but a few yards on it gives up uh, the ghost. This time forever you turn. To your surprise that you notice the cellar entrance that was previously concealed. Ooh, what do we got? You clamber down the steep steps into a long forgotten storeroom. Eagerly you start to search. Find something good. We found, ooh, fuel and antique supplies. Very ancient, ornate grenades, I suppose. Medium ammo box. Got it all. All right. Guess we will go here. I like sticking near the cities. I feel like we need to see more markets and stuff. No trace of the inhabitants. The city find a large Wehrmacht detachment. Hmm. Let's kill them. I thought about that for a second. We'll kill them. They're Nazis. They're Nazis. We're not. They gotta go. Advantage. Okay, we 
of these guys. Two dogs. Anyone else? Oh, okay, there's some humans. Oh, oh, there's a lot of humans. This is like our chance to try out our advanced combat skills that we have learned. Odd. We disconnected for a second, but apparently we're back. Making sure that you guys can see what I see. Yes, you can. All right. Um, okay, so we're using our advanced tactic skills here. So Natalia is here, and the professor. The professor, I got to remember, is like packing heat. So let's see what he does here. Okay, he can't hit anyone, so he's got to get up close. Meltdown damages all units in a straight line. Interesting. Okay. So, since those guys have short range, I'm going to run over here and I will kill the farthest away person. Which looks to be this dog. Sorry, pup. Your time is... Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll come over here now with the dock and open fire. Pew! Obliterated. And she does not have good range, so let's go over here. Bait. Throw bait that attracts dogs. Double shot. Attack two different targets. Well, that's cool. You don't, I don't think of her as like having lots of combat skills, but I guess she's no more, no more or less skilled than anyone else. Look at these dorks. They're not even attacking. What are they doing? Just running around. Ah, dick. All right, um. Well, let's try this double attack thing. Oh, it does, like, no damage, though. Oh, those guys just take no damage. Oh. Because they're so beefed out. Okay, we'll double attack. Uh, him. Okay, she did not kill the dog or the Nazi. You, you're failing us. Uh, this should kill him. Oh my god, we missed, though. Okay. I can't kill him. I might as well just knife the dog. I should have just knifed... Ugh. This, this was a badly planned combat. I should have just knifed the dog to begin with. Uh-oh. What is going on? So guys, it looks like I've disconnected. I'm just checking this. Guess I have not. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was that was poorly executed. Does anyone else have any moves left? Attack! 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 Well, maybe we'll just go into low profile mo mode. So these German shock troopers that my dog was just obliterating last time. Oh, God. I think they have high-powered weapons, actually. Um, but they are actually not to be trifled with. Doggos. I just need to get into a groove of, like, finding out the good tactics that I should be using here. Okay, I should kill this guy. What? He's not dead. Ten hit points left. Can you kill him? Oh, you totally can. Right. Oh, come on. Hey, can you kill him? Somebody kill this guy. I'm... I'm... Alright, we'll just stand here and wait. Right, here comes a blast. Oof. Oh, he did nothing. Why am I afraid of these guys? 
All right, the professor is taking a taking some blows here. He's our meat shield. Here's my new strategy. I'm going to keep the uh, like two fighting guys up front to protect the healer. She will just heal everyone when they're in danger. For instance, like right now. Like, um, all right. Uh, come over here. I want to have the maximum number of options. Oh, you know what? I can just, uh, oh God. I can just do this. All right, do it. Oh! Almost, uh, almost killed a third guy too. Bam. There you go. That, that was, oh, that was what you do. And I'm gonna repair my armor. There we go. Staying on top of the heels this time because I know how much it sucks to die. Trust me, dying is not good. I, I can't even kill that guy. Can this guy attack him? Yes, he can. Boom! Oh, he's still alive. Gun's empty. I need a gun to kill Nazis. Give me a knife. Point me in the right direction. And I will kill them. Oh, yeah, I totally did. That's all I needed. Boom. Five turns. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So we got here. Ooh. Bit of cash. Nazis were carrying some cold hard cash on them. The Klugenstein. This is the kind of gun that our healer needs because she needs more damage. In this. Can I just. Oh, wait. I have multiple screens. I can just take everything. Can't I? Oh no, I item storage capacity must be upgraded. Okay, so... Let's just get rid of this crappy old knife. Uh, move to... Oh no. Oh no! I can't take this gun! It's not particularly rare or anything, but that just sucks. Can't I get rid of this? Send two valuables. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, that's how you get rid of it. And uh, okay, I can't get the whatever. Um, <clears throat> heal required. So this combat uses. Oh, this is better. Oh, this lets her heal more. Oh, interesting. Okay, so she's a better healer now. And he can't heal. That's fine. Can I do anything? Repair kit. Okay. Uh, we also got a Klugenstein. So let's take a look at that. So there's her pistol. The Klugenstein is a little less accurate. But it does significantly more damage. More crit hit chance. All that stuff. So... Let's, uh, let's equip it. We'll keep her pistol just in case. But we are moving towards an energy weapon based system. Oh, she leveled up. Oh, sweet. Um, determines character's health. So what are our options? Agility, dexterity, vitality. Health. Uh, better aim. That might be worth it. Or what was it? Vitality, dexterity, agility. How far our character can move. I don't care about that. And she's pretty healthy. We're going dexterity. Boom. Confirm. Eventually, med kit. So here's her other skills we can get later on. Pistol damage, pistol accuracy. Disintegrated. Having more damage might be okay, but healing's pretty good. Restores 25% of a target's hits. Ooh, med kit range plus one. That might be handy. Crippling attack. Can't equip heavy armor. It's interesting. Well, I guess we'll see where we are if we ever get to that point of her having to make choices for her. Um, okay. 
I feel like I should preemptively move this to my valuables because I'm totally selling that. Ooh. Does anyone need armor? No. Can I give her better armor? I cannot. Light armor. Medium armor. She doesn't understand how to wear a pea coat. She's like, no, 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 no. It's too heavy for me. I, I'd, I'd never make it under all that weight. Worn pea coat. Might as well have the fixed one, I guess. Okay. Um, enough of that. On to the next adventure. What do we got? Ooh. Pile of goo in the desert. A strange column of steam rises from the rocks ahead of you. As you approach, you see that it comes from a pool of water. That is not water, dude. Among the rocks, a lifeless German soldier lies at the edge of the pool. Beyond, it looks like the Raz al Ghul, Lazarus pits. Beyond the clouds of steam, you see the outline of a temple entrance that seems to lead deeper into the rocks. The only way to get in is directly through the steaming pool of water. It is a choice that appears to have brought little fortune to the dead man. Hmm... Should we roll the dice? Should we do it? Let's do it. Why not? The water is pleasantly warm. It comes up to your hips. The steam has sulfurous odor. You're a third of the way across the basement. You notice small bubbles rising from a hidden crevice. Uh, rush. Oh, we made it in. Kaboom. Gripped by panic. Oh, he loses health. You scramble over the opposite. Bellamy stumbles and scratches his knee. A scratched knee is minus 12 health. You reach the temple entrance. Seconds later, a pool of boiling water. Okay, well, good thing we got through that. The temple in front of you consists of a single altar room, which you search excitedly. The Germans must have been here before you, but your prudence pays off. What do we find? Stuff! What is this? A necklace? Ancient coins? That's cool. They're very multicolored. And antique supplies, ornate grenades, and ancient bandages and such. Ooh, a temple thing that we did not get to do before. Cool. Um, can you use... Oh, we can heal. Use on... Uh, that one. Huh. I just use that. Oh, it uses up supplies. Oh, so we do... Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm understanding the resources a bit more. So when we use, when we heal people, we use supplies. Gotcha. So you kind of want to heal when it's... when they're kind of really low on health to maximize the amount of heal you're getting. Hidden in a dry riverbed, you find a water hole with a few date palms growing at its bank. The date palms are heavy with fruits. So you decide to take a break the shady spot. This is a perfect place to take on extended break. I healed right before a rest spot. Alright. Let's all rest. Oh, look at the lighting effects. I told you guys. Night to day. Party fully healed. Okay, so that's good to know. So this, this means healing. This means a store. So we're going up to the store, I think. Also, I don't know what that is, so we're going to have to make our day Off over here. We should buy supplies now that I've realized how important they are. Ooh. You take a short break when a sudden shot shatters the silence. Fountains of sand explode at your feet. Immediately take cover and scan the rocky landscape with your eyes, but you cannot see the shooter. You rush out to scour the surrounding area, but your search is in vain. Warily, you continue your journey, but the mysterious attacker does not strike again. Well, that's no good. We just got shot at. I like how when you hover over location, it like shows the path that you're gonna take, like it lights it up. It's really neat. The attention to detail in this game is great. All right, so the attachment of soldiers in the ruins ahead of you are completely unaware of your approach. An attack is the last thing they expect. Well, then we're gonna do it. We're gonna ice those, those jerks. All right, advantage, planning stage. Okay, where are you? Oh, they're like all over there. There's one over there. Um, I, I don't like these fights like out in the middle of nowhere because there's no like good cover. In the, the I feel like once you get to like 
buildings and stuff, it's a lot easier to be under proper cover. So I guess Jackson will go here. So here's our healer, so she stays back. And then this guy goes there. Um, Alright. Can I kill a dog? I am not close enough. There are two dogs in a line, though, so I'm going to totally take advantage of that. I learned from my last playthrough not to be stingy with the abilities. So let's do this. See you later, doggos! Oh my god, I missed one. Oh well, whatever. Killed one straight up. And there is another Nazi way up there. Oh, it's just a dog. I do not have the range for anything, so I will just do nothing. And she'll come back over here. And does it also not have the range? All right, these energy weapons might have been a mistake to just fully equip everyone with energy weapons because I have no ranged attacks, really. It would be nice. I, I should bring one sniper on my next adventure. Ouch. 15 damage. Ouch. Dicks. Well, at least everyone has, like, a nice obvious target now. Okay, so first things first. Doc. You attack the dog. All right, you killed the dog. Next, you attack this dog. All right. Dogs are easy pickings for laser weaponry. Next. Oh, I wish I could use the burst attack again because there's two more Nazis right in a row. Alas, I cannot. Okay, we're going to come around like this. They'll never suspect me. 50%. All right, whatever. Oh, I missed! All right. All right, like this. And whatever. We're in pretty good cover. Yeah, you miss. Yeah, you miss. All right. Obliterate this guy. Oh, 39 points. Oh, he's one point away from dying. That sucks. Um, I'm going to shoot at this guy. Oh, I wanted to do a reaction. Oh, I guess you can only do that. Oh, interesting. Um, I guess... Roll up. Kill this guy. Oh, yeah. One more down. Um, sure. Low profile. No point in hoarding those bravery points. They don't do anything. I mean, like, they do do stuff. They're very valuable, but uh, you don't get to keep them. All right. Oh, we missed. Blast him right in the face! Ah! There we go. So, I think the energy weapons I thought would be way more effective. And they really are. What I need to do is um, just be a little more... I, I think I need to, to get more guns. Like uh, sniper rifles and shotguns and stuff. Having one energy weapon is fine, but too many obviously is not does not seem to be a good strategy. I'm just fiddling with my stream thing here. All right. Um, what did we get from that little adventure? Ooh, we got a gun. Hey, wait, that's a pistol. A worn sock suspender. Take it. <laughs> um, this actually might be good for my doctor. Speaking of getting rid of energy weapons. Well, not getting rid of, but you know. So this is 32 to 36. His does 36 to 40, so he can keep his. But for her... So her old pistol did 23 to 26. So this one obviously does less than her energy weapon. But it's more accurate. 
Uh, I'm gonna switch it up for right now. I'm gonna switch it up for right now. Okay. Um, oh, and we have a store here. So check this out. Uh, trade. What do we got? So we can buy a shotgun, small ammo box. We can buy some supplies. 150. Sure. We're also going to sell our valuables. And I don't want to sell anything else, I don't. All right, all right, uh, done. I want to get to this, this thing too and see what's over here. All right, on your journey, you pass some huts with several Bedouins perched on their mud walls. You exchange polite greetings. The men nod when you inquire about the German expedition. The foreign soldiers stayed overnight in our village. Some of the men were unhappy. They were complaining among themselves. Something about their journey scared them. At the signal to depart, one of them began to rant openly at their leaders. What did they say? The old man points to the palm grove behind you. You turn to see a mound of freshly dug sand. Uh, that is all that remains of him. Oh, they killed him. The other soldiers had no further objections. Interesting. All right, let's see what we got over here. Tell us more. Ooh, an, uh, an excavation site. In the shade of the palm grove, you sneak up to the enemy camp. As you peer through the bushes, you see a sprawling, apparently deserted archaeological site. But then you spot a few guards patrolling the area. We will investigate. Uh, oh, man. Looks like a lot of Nazis, actually. Just as you're about to discuss what to do next, you hear a metallic click behind you. Oh, God. You turn around in dismay to see half a dozen rifles pointed at you. Um... The squad of German soldiers has a prisoner. An officer stands off to one side. It always pays to be thorough. Ooh, Daredevil. Take the officer hostage. We're going to turn the tables, guys. Boom. As if by magic, Jackson is suddenly standing beside the enemy officer. A moment later, he seizes him and uses him as a human shield. A blade flashes in his free hand. I'd call this a classic standoff situation. How about... You men drop your weapons and take three steps back. Do as he says, the German officer says. Free prisoner and withdraw or attack. We'll free the prisoner. We would also like the prisoner. Do you think you can arrange that? I suppose so. You take the prisoner and quickly get out of range of the enemy rifles. You withdraw, keeping your officer hostage. Out of sight of the camp, you search him and quickly... Uh, before knocking him out with a sharp blow to the back of the head. Hastily, you continue on your journey, but see no sign of enemy soldiers. Cool. Who did we save? Oh, look at all this. Oh, my God. This looks good. An improved rifle. Take it. Oh, we stole the guy's wallet. Yes, we mugged him. Ammo and fuel. Awesome. Uh, you release the prisoner from his bonds. He shakes your hands effusively. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Things would have gone badly without you. Hey, you look like you could do with some help. I don't suppose you have room for another passenger. Oh, boom. We just got another dude. Oh, and he uses... Uh... Oh, no, wait. Oh, wait. It's Omar. Hey, Omar. We were on an adventure with you before, dude. The, just the previous adventure. Um, Yeah, you can come to the team. Omar will stand with you through thick and thin. Sweet. Welcome aboard, Omar. That's interesting, so you can recruit characters that you have literally had before. Cool. All right, well, this gun looks clearly better than what we've been using. Oh, man, it's so much better. Uh, so, equip. I mean, it's just a better version of what we've got. So I might as well trash this one, I'm guessing. Well, let's move this one to valuables. Trash that one. And... Okay, so that's good. She's doing good. He's good. The saber tooth. We need to find a better shotgun for Omar. 40 damage is like the key point where you can one-shot the Nazis. 39 sucks. 
Because it's like, you're always going to have to use a second shot to finish them off. Uh, ooh, he got heavy armor on, too. Um, ancient languages and a brute. And is he? He has, like, grenade. Yeah. Boom. Giving you a grenade, buddy. 23 to 38. You know what? Forget it. <laughs> or, or do we want to? Do we want to? Yeah, I might as well try these new things. Um, so this is... Laser weapon, sniper rifle. He can also, by the way, use an assault rifle. So... Hold on, this would be less damage, slightly less accuracy. Nah, we'll leave him with the shotgun for now. Alright, we're good. Um, yeah, was so we have 14 fuel. We could waste one fuel to go heal up. Is that worth it? I think so. Everyone has taken a little bit of a beating. Vitality, willpower. What's this? Determines number of bravery points or agility. What's agility again? Where should we move? I don't care about that. Um, let's do vitality for the doctor. Sure. And we are going to go... So we're going to actually waste two fuel to heal. Hopefully I don't regret this. Oh, no, wait, it's a store. Damn it. Well, we might as well buy some fuel then. Uh, this... Oh! Oh! A shotgun for our bro, Omar. Done. Okay, buy some fuel, sell this. Omar, dude, we just got you a gun. Where are you? So wait. Hold on. 40 to 50, so he's going to be one-shotting Nazis. Only has a range of three, though. But more critical damage. I mean, he's doing it. He has. He's becoming the Fenris. He is the dog. <laughs> the dog that could uh, one-shot Nazis. He's the one-shot, one-shotting Nazi dog. All right. Um, we're just going to, you know what? We're going to live dangerously. We're just going to throw all this stuff away. I'm gonna. This thing sucks, right? Whatever, we're, we're throwing it away. So I think it's like um, Kingsway when like anything surrounded by white is common, blue is rarer, you know, yellow is really rare. Like this is a legendary. See, this is rarity, legendary. It gives you like vitality bonuses and stuff, so. We're gonna be looking. We're gonna be looking out for good rare stuff. But anyway, okay. I'm glad I made the mistake of thinking this was a place to heal. Um, you have unsold valuables. They cancel. Sell them. And I'm gonna sell that too. Why not? Okay. Um, off to more adventure. Like, I could, I could go one, two, three. I'd be wasting three fuel to heal. We're just going to carry on and hopefully find other spots to heal and other stuff. As you explore the ancient temple, you discover among the desert dunes, you run straight into a detachment of soldiers. They're just as surprised as you. Equally surprised. A fair match. Tumult. All right, so we have three Nazis, one Nazi, Iron Man, and two dogs. Where are they? Oh, there's one guy. Where are the others? They're like way over there. Okay, I like this. I like fighting in these like closed hallways because it is easier to like keep your guys in cover and stuff. So... Here. 
can't tell, like, where I can actually place my guy. Like, look, I'm trying to place him behind the wall here. Like, I guess there's okay. I don't know. Anyway, Jackson. Healer. And the other dude. Alright. Oh, we have one more. Omar. I forgot about Omar. Alright, Omar, you're there. None of these guys are anywhere near us. So we have time to position ourselves strategically. Omar, you're on dog hunting duty. When the dogs get close, you blow them away. The dogs do not seem to be running towards us. Anything they're fleeing from us, fleeing from the onslaught, they know will engulf them. Now let's see if I can do this. So if I run here, and I then oh, I can totally get this guy. Oh, he has 41 health? The Nazis are getting more healthy as time goes on. Okay. And we are also going to bring her down, because I think we gave her a new weapon. I think so. Oh, he's just barely out of range. It actually kind of sucks. It's hard to determine if guys are going to be in range or not. Well, I guess when, when they are going to be in range, they start glowing. See how he's glowing now? And now he's not. I need to pay more attention to that. It's my own. It's my own fault. Blast! Ah, oh, you blasted Nazi! Did, can you not see that I want to kill you? It's a pun. Pun on the word Nazi. Oh God, we're still out of. Does anyone have an attack left? She does. Oh God. I'm like gonna take s ah, stupid damage here. Miss! Miss! I'm already, like, bungling it. I don't know how I beat the last mission, but I only have one guy left. What happened? Did he fire or not? He does, he, it seemed like he lined something up, but he did not fire. He's, like, aiming at me or something. just kill him I think as soon as I step here he's gonna attack me okay Omar's gonna do it because he's the healthiest oh god took a shot that was two health and eight armor okay now he's that counts as his move all right Nazi boy Oh, what? Okay, you know what, though? That is... So, he did an ambush on me. So, I guess the way ambushing works is you don't do your attack the turn you set it up. That's actually really interesting to know, but it, like, stuns guys. So, like, having snipers is actually, like, very effective. Interesting. Um... Stores 25% also removes any negative effects. Does not require or consume supplies. Oh. So this guy should be constantly healing whenever he needs it. Wait, he can heal... Oh, he can heal anybody. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, whatever. So, okay, Omar is the, the group healer now, man. He can heal 25% of people's health, period, without using supplies. He's going to keep us healthy. So his goal is to run around and heal everyone while they finish killing all the dogs that are running at us. So Omar will go here. And he'll heal the doc. Meanwhile, this guy is going to blow away this dog. Zap! And then get into cover, I guess. Right around here. Sure. Uh, I don't know what she's going to do yet. This guy is going to also get into cover, though. Actually, he's going to come up here. I, I really, like, don't have a good plan here. I'm just kind of winging it. Can't hit that guy. Uh, but she can totally get this dog. In fact, she might be able to get him already. Oh! 
sniped him. All right. Then we'll get in the cover. Oh, these are pits. That's why I'm not in cover. I, I was thinking these are walls or something. I get it. I was looking at this like these are walls, but these are pits. That's why... Okay, so she's not in cover. So she needs... She wants to go up there. I get it. <laughs> I can understand visual depictions of terrain. Right, these guys are all... Slowly approaching. Okay. So first of all, the doc wants to get into cover. Perfect. Next, Omar here. Oh, he doesn't have any more bravery. Oh, okay, so he can heal people, but he has to kill people in order to get the will to heal people. I gotcha. All right, well, Omar, run off into combat, kill some people, and then come back and heal us. Meanwhile, I don't think there's... Oh, I can get in range of that guy if I want. We're gonna take our time here. Nobody has to be a hero. We've got we've got the advantage of cover here. Okay. Alright, Doc. I, I'm shocked this Doc guy is uh running the combat. Cannot hit anyone. I will end my turn. The doctor is like being very aggressive in combat. He's like scaring Nazis. <laughs> They're like, oh god, an old man with a laser gun is trying to kill me. Hans, save me. Alright. We have gonna run up. Blast this guy. Blow him away! Jeez, we actually can't kill him. 20 plus 4 is not a death blow. Uh, I'm also going to run over here with this guy, try and kill this Nazi. 39! Ugh. That sucks when they're so close to dying. I wanna, definitely want to kill this guy. Boom! Oh man, she's she's really good. I can't believe she died so quickly last time we played. Cannot hit that guy. So we're gonna go over here. And Boom! Oh yes, one shotted. Alright, this is this is so done, it's not even funny. Oh. Hit Omar! Omar, can you heal? No, I can't. Alright, well, just go and get your vengeance then. Go and punch this guy. Whatever. Whatever pleases you. Throw a grenade at him. <laughs> Game over, Nazi man. Alright. Well, we're doing okay. We haven't lost our whole team yet. Ooh, we found a camera. Supplies. We're up to nine supplies, which is pretty good. What is this? A tarnished Stalknecht prototype. Interesting. Um, is it better than anything that we've got going on? Slightly more range, more crit damage, less accuracy, though. I don't know. I like having accuracy. I'm not willing to trade it off just yet, but maybe. Maybe eventually. Has anyone leveled up yet? That guy's so close. That guy's so close. All right, the next battle we are leveling. Okay, let's go here. So we got going on. You find no trace of the inhabitants of the sprawling pharmacy. You find a work mocked unit is taken up. Maybe I should just not be like fighting Nazis at absolutely every opportunity I get, but I'm uh I can't say no to a good Nazi killing. 
All right. One Nazi. Two Nazis. Three Nazis. Four Nazis. I guess it shows me down here who I'm going to fight. But I just like to know, like, roughly where everyone is. And goats. What if we can kill the goats? Probably not. Probably be unsportsmanlike to murder goats. Um, here. Here. And... I should have put this guy first, Omar. But whatever. First things o Omar is actually going to do is probably uh, heal. Actually, we don't have to rush it. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Omar, you go up here. Blow this son of a bee away. Oh, 47 out of 48. Damn it, Omar. <laughs> now we have to hit him again. So sick of killing Nazis. Right. Just do this. Boom. Miss! You serious? Alright, it's up to the doc. Doc. Kill this guy. Wait, what? Kill this guy. There we go, 38. Somehow the Nazis are getting healthier and it's making it harder to kill them all. <clears throat> um, we'll end our turn. I was going to heal guys, but I remembered I, I figured out how to heal with her out of combat. So we might as well take so much damage that we're like really low on health. And then uh, that sniper set up an ambush for us. And now that I know how ambushes work, the trick should be to not fall into his trap. Yeah, see, look, he, he wants to ambush those guys. But this guy can actually get around his little ambush. So look at this. We can snipe him. We can snipe the sniper. Nice. Boom! <laughs> I'm learning. All right. Uh, Omar, do you want to kill a dog? I can't believe the dog's not in range. Doc, do you want to kill a dog? Yes, you do. Boom! See a poochie. Omar. Run over here. He probably won't have line of fire on you, but... Um, you know what, Omar? You can actually just heal yourself. You're not doing... You're not, you don't have tons of health, so you might as well just heal yourself. The doc. And what's this? All right, Doc. Low profile. Why not? Okay, has everyone done their moves? She hasn't moved yet. That's fine. All right, Nazis, your move. Oh, another ambush, eh? There was an easy way to solve the ambush last time you tried it, though. If you Nazis will recall. She's a dog killing machine! Natalia! You are on my team forever from now on. Okay. Over here. I like how this guy's just going on his own commando mission, killing snipers. It's what he does. 55%. Oh, I missed. Okay, I think if I don't move, then I won't get attacked. By the ambush. So we will see if that is true. Oh! Oh, but only three points of damage. I think it would have been worse if I had moved. I don't know. I guess I should have moved these guys. Doesn't matter. This guy's about to die. Oh. Boom! Bullet to the back. Um. Now. And get close enough to attack this guy too. I'm like finding the groove here with killing these dudes. I think that's it. I think we just won. Reload all weapons. Back to the map. Let's check our health. Let's actually like check our health and stuff. Oh, 
Uh, we have stuff to get. A handkerchief, a rare silken handkerchief. A nice exquisite set of gloves. Some supplies, which we should really start using. Um, and a tarnished rifle. Take it. Um, all right, we're done. Oh, and two guys leveled up. Let's do this first. So what's this? Move to an adjacent position up to two tiles away. Dash doesn't trigger ambushes. Oh, that could oh, be useful if you're about to get ambushed. It's not use any action points, but does cost one bravery. Or cause, cause the target to lose 75% movement in range for two turns. I like dash, actually. That could be useful. Now that the enemy is starting to ambush us. Um, dash could be useful. What is this? Armor amount minus four. Why did these change? Hmm. Um, this guy leveled up too. This is our this is our main This is our Indiana Jones, man. Our Reno Jackson. Uh, assault rifle mag. Uh, assault, assault rifle accuracy or critical strength. Hmm. Accuracy or strength? A magazine? I don't care. Uh, accuracy or strength? Tough call. Do I want to hit guys more often or be doing more damage? Um, hold on. So let's see. Critical hit chance is 9% and I'm doing plus 13 damage which I feel like is actually solid so I want accuracy boom do it vitality eventually we can increase our damage I'd rather have increased damage by 4 than range by 1 shredding I don't care about that target ally if attack is successful, the target will be killed instantly. May only damage target injured enemies. So I guess eventually we'll have stronger opponents. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, what is this minus armor mount? What is this plus? What is happening? We have some kind of morale issue where armor is not effective, but... Uh, we all have critical hit chance bonuses or something somehow. Maybe it's the weapon I have equipped. It's affecting it somehow. Um, okay. Uh, do we need to heal? We should repair armor. Can I do this? Uh, oh wait. Uh, here's how we do it. Use on Omar. Boom, we've repaired his armor. The other armors are looking okay. Do we need to heal anyone? Not really. All right, satisfied. Satisfied with our adventure so far. In fact, we're doing so well, we're getting so, such the hang of it that I think I'm gonna take a slightly longer route here. Rather than taking the shortest possible route, let's explore a bit, let's actually experience the Indiana Jones-ness of this. You're racing along the endless desert track when suddenly a massive jet of steam and hot water shoots out of the front of your Jeep and splashes against your windshield. Oh, this is the radiator one again. Um, you step, you look for the radiator cap, blah, 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 nothing happens. So I guess, you know, there are like 200 different random events, but eventually you'll see, you know, repetitions. Uh, we got some Nazis kill him <laughs> I mean it's you know what it's a cool game but it is it is fairly uh, repetitious I guess I would say in terms of you're just constantly killing Nazis eventually I assume you get more advanced and complicated Nazis like we're starting to see the ambush ability which is kind of cool okay so Jackson wants to be ready no wait Jackson can be here Talia can be here, the doc can be here, and then we want Omar to be ready to burst out. Run out and blast this guy right in the face. It's gonna be Omar. Alright, Omar, you finally get your wish, bro. The blast a Nazi at point blank range, and you're not even gonna kill him. What a waste. You know what? Will Natalia kill him? 
No, she won't. Will this guy? Mm, probably. Wait, he didn't die? Three hits? Ah, uh, whatever. All right, I'm actually gonna hurt to Because what I want this guy to do with his ability is to heal. Oh, there's another guy up there. Okay, what am I doing dilly-dallying around here? Oh, uh, what? We keep being one hit off of killing guys. Um, okay, whatever. I'm gonna heal the doc next turn with Omar. Try and make good use of this these free heals, <clears throat> so we don't have to waste supplies. Oh, perfect. Okay, Omar. We'll go here, and you will heal the doc. All right, Doc, you are healed. You are welcome. Oh, she does so much damage. Oh, but she missed. Um, okay, what is the hit chance? 61. She's gonna move right next to him. Cause I want to start getting in position to kill these guys. Blast this guy. 100% to hit. Oh, that guy's dead. I think he got the message. I think you killed him, in fact. The message was, you're dead. <laughs> All right, we're good, in good cover. Things are looking good. We're coming together as a team, guys. Omar, Omar's our meat shield, our tank character. All right. I was about to call these cows Brahmin. This, this game reminds me of Fallout a little bit, obviously, because you're, you know, turn-based combat and all that. Um, can I do my thingy? My special move? Oh, oh, damn it. If they were just a little closer, I could probably attack them both. Not probably, I could. Instead, we'll have to do it this way. So a 61% chance of hitting him, and then assuming I hit him, I have like a 2 out of 11 chance of actually killing him. So my odds of a one-hit kill are low. What about with this? Oh, she can't even do anything. Okay. Time to get into to combat, Natalia. She's like our black widow of the team. She cannot kill these guys, but she can dual shot. Oh, missed. Okay. But this guy is probably done. So Omar has to attack that guy. Well, whatever. Yeah. Um, this guy. Okay, we have like an interesting little thing here. Omar's gonna run up and kill this Nazi. And this guy, the doc's gonna come out and kill the other one. Um, if we punch this guy, we're not gonna kill him. So we will blast him with the shotgun. 40 to 50 points of damage at point blank range, 100% chance of hitting. Blue. We didn't even need that extra shot from Natalia. Really, if she'd hit this guy and not that guy, that would have been the better outcome. Yeah, it doesn't matter. This guy is dead. Oh, we missed, though. Oh, shoot. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Your turn, Nazi man. Oh. Only eight points of damage, though. We got this. Take our chances. <laughs> I didn't even. I was too lazy to move. Of course, we were gonna kill him. Boom! Reload all weapons. We're good. Now, I should always remember to check to see if the shotgun guy can do a free heal before I end combat. More supplies. Keeping that near ten. It's our capacity. And more laser weapons. We have two of these. But this one's better. Hmm. Okay, so this one will sell. And in fact... Oh yeah, whatever. We're, I was going to say, we'll sell it right now, but we're not at a store. <laughs> I 
I like how we were at an idyllic farmhouse, but it was like inhabited by a bunch of murderous Nazis. Not very idyllic, after all. Um, yeah, we, I feel like we're gonna blow through the rest. Of, okay, we're going. We're really actually gonna start meandering around here because I feel like we are in no threat of dying. You approach a strange oasis with its mysterious crystals. Your fears are confirmed. You are not alone. You sneak closer and soon spy a large group of German soldiers camped ahead of you. They're completely unaware of your presence. Attack! I feel like eventually when you play this game, you probably discover really like awesome and rare weapons that have all sorts of cool abilities. And that's what I want to like finally get to. Now that we're figuring out the combat. Where are these Nazis? There's like six of them. Hello? Nazis? Oh, you, you guys are all down here? One. Oh, look at that oasis. Okay. So it doesn't really matter where we go. Yeah, good. That's fine. They're all too far away to attack us. Um, okay. So there's no, like, real good cover in this level. Run down here. Can I attack anyone? I cannot. Okay, so Omar. Omar's gonna come here and do a heal on Jackson. Doc is gonna come down. You know what's funny? We have not had to use Natalia's uh, actual, like she can literally heal, she's a medic. We haven't had to really use that ability. I think the Doc is gonna start mending some armor though. We might start with his own. Nazis. I hate these guys. I feel like Nazis are getting more afraid of us. When we first started playing this game, they would just run right at us. But now these guys are like, they keep killing us. Run for cover, Hans. It's my terrible German accent. All right, Doc. You are going to heal your own armor. There we go. And... Okay. Let's see. We cannot get in range of any Nazis. It's crazy. Okay, we'll go over here like this. I feel like he's going to come and attack me. I can take the hit though. I was like, there's no point in wasting a, uh, wasting an ability. Natalia, over there. And Doc. Ooh, Doc can move pretty far. Right there. He moves fast for an old guy, for an old man. All right, here comes Hans. He's the guinea pig Nazi. Oh, just kidding. No, no, those guys are still too far away. This is a big battlefield. We're gonna totally slaughter Hans, send a message to the others. It would be kind of cool if the Nazis either fled or surrendered. Like you could affect their morale and if you too quickly murdered one of their guys, they just were like, forget it, we're out. <laughs> Maybe that does happen. We just haven't been effective enough yet. Uh, anyway. Miss. Right. Doc is useless. All right, it's up to you, Omar. You gotta earn back those bravery points so you can heal more of us. Oh, Blam! Yeah. One shot at them. All right, if that did not send a message to the Nazis, I don't know what will. Um, here and. And where is this guy? Here, all right. Getting into position. Can I actually attack someone though? Oh, I can. Wait, can you attack someone? No. And you've attacked, and you've attacked. So it's just this guy. All right, if we do a critical hit, or we have a two in 11 chance, two out of 11 times 61%. Oh! We did it! 
We we hit the blackjack. Boom. One shot at him. I'll take it. That guy's like, oh my god, what do I do now? These guys, they're protecting like StarCraft minerals. It's the wrong color. It should be blue, not glowing red. But these guys have stumbled upon some minerals and Vespine gas, and they don't want us to get it. Guess what, Nazis? We take what we want. We'll take what we want and burn your bodies. Oh god, that's dark. Alright, um, so... And these guys are so spread out. They're actually being kind of annoying. Stop being strategic and just show up and die. Ow! I've been shot! Monsieur! Help me! Jeez. I was like, should I just run out of cover to shoot this guy? But no, I'll probably miss. Take a bunch of hits. Just be strategic about this. And let's keep everyone together. Stupid teamwork. Ugh. All right, Omar. Omar shot a guy in the face and he only earned one bravery. He was braver before the fight. After blowing a guy's face off point blank range, he was like, I'm still a little unsure about myself here. Not feeling entirely like Omar. Oh, there's a guy there? I wonder if he was in range. She could have shot him. These guys are really playing it coy. All right, do you guys want to fight or what? Because guess what? It's time to kill you. I'm sick of this cat and mouse game. Bloom! I want that to incinerate a guy when you hit him with a laser gun. What else we got here? This guy's just out of range. All right, Omar, it's time to get in there, man. It's time to stop pussyfooting around. Time to blow these guys up. Kablam! Oh, he's still alive. Oh, shoot. Omar, you should not be in there all alone, man. Okay, how about... Oh, shoot, the dock already shot, didn't he? Okay, so the dock is just there for no reason now. Natalia's going to try and help you guys by maybe killing this guy. Jesus. The shock troopers actually could take a lot of damage. I might be able to kill that guy, though. It would help out Omar. Um, sure. I'll... It's 61% no matter which guy I try and kill. But I might as well... There's another guy up there, too, actually. We're going to move over here. See what we can make happen. Still 61%. And we have a low odds of killing that guy. Uh, I guess it doesn't really make a difference. Might as well kill this guy. Yahayan! Alright. And dash. Don't need to do that. Alright, only two of you guys left. Oh, 10 points. Ooh, only two armor. Oh, yeah, run close to Omar. That's what you should do. That's what you should do, Nazi. So my hope is I can kill this guy with the dock. Son of a bitch. All right. So here's my dilemma. Omar can probably heal this guy. Ah, who cares? Let's just kill this guy. Um, oh, we need to reload. Classic Omar running out of bullets. Blow this guy away, will ya? <laughs> Yain, my fear. Miss. And we're gonna miss again. Okay, here we go. So, 100% chance of hitting, but only 40 or 41 will kill him. Didn't kill him. In fact, we got the lowest amount of damage possible. So that's not good. Uh, we don't need to heal or anything. All right, go. Oh, he's fleeing. He knows a lost cause when he sees him. Damn it! Okay, you know what? 
Omar can probably just heal himself now. 13% or 13 hit points. Guess how we kill this last Nazi, guys? With a Bowie knife to the gut. Oh, just his whole inner, his whole uh, intestine just spewed out onto the hot desert. He was like trying to put it back in. <laughs> he died. God, that's dark. Sometimes I have a dark streak, I guess. All right, how's our team doing? I think I'm beginning to understand. Yes, we kill Nazis, Natalia. What is there to understand? Supplies. Ooh, light armor. We'll take that, probably for Natalia. Um, a bulletproof vest, heavy armor. Ooh, 22. Okay, we're going to, I guess, scrap the med pack? Or no, I guess we'll scrap this pistol. We'll take that. Then, ooh, Natalia has leveled up. So we can choose med kits, heal more, eight more. We actually don't really need that, to be honest. Pistol damage. Hmm. Or we could do pistol accuracy. I'm gonna do damage. I feel like she's actually one of our more, surprisingly, like one of our more expert marksmen in this game. So we're going to have her do more damage. Now, uh, for Natalia, this is a, an obvious choice. So she's going to upgrade her armor. Boom. And we will send that to our valuables. Then we have Omar here. This is another obvious upgrade for him. Boom. And I don't think the doc can wear this, and I don't think the other guy has to send valuable. We really need more pages of our Jeep to be unlocked so that we can carry more stash. Um, everything is looking good, pretty much. We could, uh, we could repair the, uh, here, here's where we do it. Uh, use on Jackson. We could repair his armor. Are... Yeah, everything looks good. Anyone close to leveling up? No, only Omar and Bellamy are the closest. But they'll be a ways off. All right, on to more adventure. We'll try and go near the town so that we can try and find another market to sell our stash. A couple of rusty fuel canisters in the ground. They turn out to be completely empty. What a waste of my time. I like how, uh, like, on every uh, every little mark that we go here, there's a little adventure. It's like these guys are on a fun little road trip together, and you guys ever been on road trips? You just you pull off at random stops, and you just as I have, like, you know, un unplanned little mini adventures, you know, even just looking for a place to buy candy or something. Somebody has a craving for candy on a long road trip, you pull off. That's what these guys are doing. Only it's killing Nazis in the desert under the scorching Middle Eastern sun. In the desert, you see what looks like an old temple structure. You stop to investigate and realize it's caved in long ago. Okay. Actually, maybe we won't go over here because we just waste fuel and we're getting low on that. Group of exhausted travelers. These are Christian pilgrims on their way to the site of the Holy Land. Their next desti destination is Nazareth, home uh, town of the man so many believe to be the Son of God. It will soon be 2,000 years since the, the Nazarene walked the earth, but has the world really changed for the better since that time? We're not so sure. Jeez, burn on Christianity, I guess. Jeez, make this game more political, developers. <laughs> All right, what else we got going on? In the silent prayer, a group of women kneel before half a shrine of, of course, you are in the Holy Land over which so many faithful have fought so bitterly. Canaan, the land of a thousand cities and gods, a divine Astarte once reigned here with her graceful temple servants until the one god drove her away forever. Canaan, where milk, where once milk and honey flowed, where are your gods today? You know, there's an old saying, when God gives you lemons, you find a new god. And if your land has become, <laughs> you know, deserted, 
and uh, find a new god. Uh, over the next, we're running out of fuel here. What happens when you run out of fuel? Maybe you just wait for Nazis to drive by and ambush them and take all their fuel. Uh, anyway. Uh, over the next dune, you stumble across a dried out riverbed that runs right across your path. Its rocky edges drop so abruptly that the crossing is out of question. So we just have to drive around a rocky riverbed. Okay. So we have five fuel. One, two, three, four. We can go one, two, three, four, five. That's guaranteed. But I want to see this like high fiving stick man. So I guess we'll find out what happens when we run out of fuel, because I have a feeling that might happen. You come to a halt near a half-buried jeep, quickly realize there's nothing to be found here. Okay, we are just burning through the fuel. We have three left. Come across a German military camp. Soldiers lounging around listlessly in the ruins. They have not noticed you. We need fuel, otherwise I would let them be. Just kidding, I'd kill them no matter what, because they're Nazis. Advantage planning phase. All right, let's see where these guys are. Where are you, Nazis? Oh, they're oh oh okay oh they're all right there. Five of them. I, I'm noticing we're not seeing any more Nazi dogs. I guess the Nazis ran out of dogs or something. Okay, so this guy will go there, and her, and the doc will go here, and Omar's taking the front lines. Omar's gonna run in, guns a blazing. Right, Omar, you show them how it is done. I could try and blast this guy. Maybe that is the better strategy, actually. So first off, okay, she had a damage boost. Um, disappointing. So I think she'd be able to one-shot him. All right, let's take our, let's roll our dice. See if we can kill this guy in one shot. We cannot. Let's see if the doc can kill this guy. Oh, he's got him. Ah! All right, now, Omar, your strategy is to run up and blow away one of these guys. You do 40 to 50 damage. But the armor... It's 40. Like, I know I'll kill this guy. Will I kill this guy? You know what? I... I don't want to, like, waste it. We're going to run in and kill the guy. We're going to kill the guy we know we can kill. Boom! Blew his freaking head off. Okay, and now... Everyone will move to more strategic positions. This guy will move... Over... Here, I guess? Sure. Yeah, actually, I think that's good. I think that's good. Let's see what the Nazis do. Oh, yeah, you miss. You miss. Minus four armor. Not even any damage to my health. That's how it be. Okay, so we're going to come here. I'm going to just see. Can I one-shot one of these armored Nazi guys? No, I cannot. Wow, his armor takes... Actually blocks a lot of damage. Wow, I only did eight points. Okay, so the doc's gonna have to come and finish this guy off. Um, the doc. So he'll do 32 minimum. 40% chance of hitting me. Oh my god, the guy's still alive. Okay. Natalia's got it. And Natalia could almost just straight up kill one of these guys. Too bad no one else is in range. <laughs> I feel like Natalia always goes for the head. That's why she's so effective at killing them. Anyway. Um, boom. Then we flee. And we'll run over here. Hit and run, guys. Stick and move. Stick and move. Don't just stand there. Oh, God. Oh God! Not my main, not the main guy. Everybody loves him. Okay, so I'm gonna run up and heal him. Blink. There we go. Now, Natalia, ice this guy, will ya? <laughs> Kill this guy, will ya? 
click here to claim. And... Oh! Almost one-shotted him. Oh, man, that was an insane amount of damage. All right. <laughs> uh, never gets old. I feel like we've turned into, like, a tight, tight combat crew here. All right, have some fuel, please. Yes, two fuel. That's what I needed. Uh, Painkillers, sure. We literally can't take more supplies. That is sad we should actually just burn some abilities so use on Jackson use on Omar and then use on Bellamy yeah I, I mean I could use even more but what is the point um, painkillers. Hmm. All right, take the supplies. Pack up the nine. All right, more adventure. So I think we have enough fuel to hit up all the remaining spots now. Find the remains of a nondescript desert shrine. Sun, sand, and weather have etched deep lines into the stone. Ooh, money. Ancient coin. Somebody just left. Is This was an ancient blackjack table. They left their candles burning. 2,000 years, no one discovered it. So we have four fuel. One, two, three, four. We did it! We don't need any more resources. We can just use what we got. As you approach the village, you hear the shouting of an angry crowd. A furious mob has gathered in front of one of the houses. You make out the village chief and speak to him. What's going on here? The people have caught a con artist in the act, and now they want blood. You assess the situation. Isn't that Baron? He also recognizes you and waves frantically. It's all just a misunderstanding. Get me out of here. Okay, we'll negotiate in ancient languages. I'm just going to break out some long-forgotten languages, and somehow it's going to solve the situation. Omar talks insistently with the village elder. You catch fragments of a language you do not understand. Finally, Omar turns to you with relief. I think we have come to an agreement. Ooh. Baron von G. Baron, Baron von B. German gentleman imposter. Capable sniper. We don't want to recruit him, though, because we already have a full crew. So. We saved you, Baron, but we don't actually need you. So thanks for nothing, pal. All right running through the last remains of the fuel here, guys. The oasis is riddled with bizarre flickering crystals. You rub your eyes in disbelief. What is this place? A shot whistles over your head. You have been ambushed by the Germans! I like being ambushed by Germans. Ooh, look, they're all near me, too. Uh, oh, actually, this ambush is... Some problematic because they actually are really near me. Okay, uh, I want to place. How do I want to do this? Thinking here. This guy here. Her here. Uh, him here. Him there. Okay, I think that makes some sense. So first things first, she's really good at killing these guys. So she's gonna double shot them. Boom, boom! Okay, so they're near death. So now, Omar can finish this guy off, right? Oh shoot, he does a lot of damage. This guy can finish off, man, he does a lot of damage too. All right, whatever. Death by technology. And I guess it makes sense to have Omar kill these guys. Like no one else is even nearly in range. But I could move over here. 
Hmm, okay. I'm like just trying to see like what is the most number of people I can attack. Wait, did this guy already attack? He did. Okay, whatever. All right, Omar, just blow this guy away. Just be done with it. All right, we are done our turn, I guess. Good turn, good turn. Killed two Nazis. And we positioned ourselves well for the ensuing battle. Although, that guy just open shot at us. You're going to run over here and blow this guy away. <laughs> Boom. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, n oops. Oops, I guess. So, all right, Doc. You got to hold the line here, Doc. Kill this guy if you can. Or miss. Whatever. Uh, all right. Kill this guy. Ooh, I love her, like, little... <laughs> And it just like totally kills a guy. It's awesome. All right. Um, oh, time to double fire these guys. Oh, they're both near death, but not dead. That sucks. Totally worth it though. Um, where is she needed? I guess she's needed up. And you're good right there, buddy. Man, we're just chewing these Germans up. Yeah, look at them run. They're like, oh, God. These guys cannot even hit us. I wonder if hitting those explosive barrels actually does anything. I'm kind of curious. Where's the dock? Hit chance 100%. Oh, interesting. All right, that was just for science. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, because I actually do want to defeat these guys, taking very little damage, but had to know for science how that works. Oh, <laughs> I never, never gets old, her like pre precision shot. Okay, Omar, go ahead and heal yourself. Stay tip top healthy. Uh, meanwhile, this guy. He's clear shots on both Nazis. I will kill the farther down one. Ooh. Um, might as well keep a low profile, I guess. Gotta remember to burn all these bravery points. Because they just regenerate between combat. Haha! <laughs> Minus two armor! You're dead, man. You're dead. I'm gonna murder you. I like Natalia's kills because it's like such a precision shot. Ah! Ooh. Like she's just sniping them right in the one non-armored spot of their little Iron Man helmets. Ah! Ooh. Easy. You call that an ambush? 93% accuracy, baby. We never miss except 7% of the time. But 93% of the time we're hitting every time. All right, what do we got? Give us the goods. Oh, we got fuel, ammo, supplies. We're maxed out now again. Damn it. Um, ooh, we got a better repair set. So I can move this to our valuables and take this. What is this? A tarnished laser gun. I don't care about it then. Wait. Yeah, I don't care about it. And we can't take that yet, but we should just waste somebody's ability. Um, Doc, you can do this. And then you can repair Omar's armor, I guess. Then we'll take the supplies. Cool. Yeah, we are, we are doing good. All right, this is the, the last mission of our little quest here. As you reach the outer buildings of an abandoned village, a rifle shot comes out of nowhere. As fast as lightning, you veer off the track and jump out of your vehicle, diving behind some low walls for cover. Ba -doo, ba -doo. Ooh, look, it's a German officer. 
I wonder if it's the one we kidnapped. Colonel Von Ortsen was right. We were being followed. I think we can handle the problem. Open fire. Oh, you Nazis ain't ever fought a guy like me. Don't tempt me, Nazi. I will kill you. I'll kill you, Nazi. All right. Um, first things first, we got to figure out where they are. Kind of all up here. Ooh, they have armored dogs. These are not your average German shepherd. Okay. Um, there and there. There and there. Sure. Okay, so these guys are all... They're all going to be, like, running down here very soon. So we'll just kind of get into tactical positions here. Natalia. Here. Omar. I guess I'll go over here. I was going to kind of make him go behind the building, but he's pretty tough, so I don't think he needs to do that. The doc will hang back because I guess he's a little weaker, but... I mean, he actually... 60 hit points. He's not... Omar's the weakest, in fact. Anyway, whatever. We're all good. Do your worst, Nazis. Do your worst. They're just running at us very slowly. Here comes the dogs. I guess that we didn't see the dogs for a while because they were equipping them. They were developing new advanced Nazi dogs. Faster, more heavily armored dogs. For those of you who uh, have been watching this whole time, we found a dog previously. Previously, I screwed up and my entire team got wiped out. It was just one guy. We actually managed to beat the mission, but uh, yeah, we were just... It was me and one dog that managed to join me. So, anyway, um, let's see what we got going on here. So we can... Oh, we just... Well, there goes that dog. <laughs> Your dogs are nothing to me, Nazis! They are not intimidating, these dogs. These dogs suck! You need to develop better dogs. Uh, she does not have much range right now. So... We're just gonna, like, go at this very slowly. Let them come to us. Let them come to the kill zone, as I like to call it. Concentrate. Restores one bravery point for each character. Interesting. I like how they're like coming very cautiously towards me. They're like, don't rush it. You will kill us all if you do. Oh, big mistake there, doggo. Oh no, oh Omar. Dude, you might want to get out of there. There's a bunch of dogs. Okay, Omar, we're definitely gonna heal you in a sec. Before that, let's just kill these dogs. my like little ah, if I could line them up shoot them all Let's just kill this one dog and Omar you are going to 25% of your health um, I'm trying to think like should Omar heal himself or should he run up and just keep fighting it doesn't really matter because I'm sure I can beat this no matter what now, but... Okay, you know what? Omar is going for the glory. He's like, maybe some dogs bit me, but I don't care. I'm going out in a blaze of glory. Powerful blast damaging targets. Oh, if there's a bunch of guys, I can hit them all. Okay, Omar. I can also throw a grenade. People aren't packed closely enough, though. Anyway, normal attack. Attack this guy. Shotgun to the gut. And the doc is coming to back you up, Omar. He's not going to let you go down alone. Oh, we killed him. Alright. It's on. Rush him. Bum rush him at this point. 
Everybody get in there. They, they're dog. They're dogless. They're dogless. Just run in and kill them all. There's only two of them left, I think. Maybe they'll get lucky and kill Omar, but we can revive him. We have a medic. Yeah, they're cowardy. They're they're cowering. Don't worry, Omar. We got you. Just go and kill these guys. Uh, maybe the doc should go first, because I feel like he does more damage, and he might just straight up kill that guy. All right, doc. Thing. Oh, okay. Never mind. The doc missed. Um, let's send her. Actually. All right, Omar. It's all on you now, bro. End this guy. Boom! You asked for it. Over here. Oh, I can't believe it. He is out of. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right. I'm starting to take this personally. Oh my god, I missed. Okay, well, I'm gonna run away. All right, Omar. Um, come over here. And. Heal yourself. There you go. I'm not gonna bother to heal him anymore. He'll live. Um, all right, you come over here, Doc. Attack this Nazi officer. That looks exceedingly painful. All right. I think we got this guy. He's at full health. Any ability we could use? Nothing. Okay, whatever. He can't kill, he can't one-shot our guys. Oh, he's near the explosive barrel. Oh my God, finishing move. Finishing move. Hey, Nazi. You're fired. Kaboom! Victory. <laughs> I've never killed anyone with an explosive barrel. It's pretty cool. Only 73% accuracy. But it only took six turns to ice those six Nazis. We're killing one Nazi per turn. In the officer's map case, you find some torn Bible pages. You scan the pages and find a passage underlined in pencil. Ooh. Uh, and the Lord God said, Behold, Adam is become as one of us to know good and evil. So he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which he turned every way to guard the way of the tree of life with the wrath of God perturbed you shake your heads boom what do we got some good stuff I hope we got a slightly worn handkerchief okay some fuel large ammo box new more new Morley Burke sniper rifle and a tarnished Boyd gun can I just send that right into my, right into the uh, stash there? Painkillers. Okay, Band-Aids, you're going in the stash. Continue. In order to equip a weapon, a character must have the appropriate skill. Oh, it, it continues on. I thought we just passed the whole thing. The Rocky Mountain Track provides an excellent view of the arid Syrian desert stretching out below. You carefully follow the narrow hairpin bends in your way down. Suddenly, Omar steps on the brakes and points excitedly uh, to the scree slope below a wrecked, worm jeep. You get out to investigate. Three dead soldiers lie around the car. They appear to have died as a result of the accident, but you can't be certain. You quickly search the car. You're in luck. In the trunk, you find a half-full jerry can and a small supply crate. Sweet. We need more supplies. Boom, boom, boom. Fuel, which we definitely needed. Ammo box. We're pretty high on ammo. Yeah, we're maxed out. Supplies. Is there, like, anything we can do? I'm... So, we'll just use this on Omar. We'll waste that. And we will use this on... Omar, waste that. 
There we go. They're pretty generous with supplies, so we're definitely not using all the supplies that we, we need. Um, okay, so there's a whole other map here. We're going to do this. We're playing this. But I want to go grab some more coke. So we're going to take a short break. Just uh, five minutes. Go ahead. Grab some snacks. We'll be right back, guys. We will do this. Let, I wish I could leave you on something interesting. How about you guys can stare at my character screen. There you go. I'll be back in just a minute, guys. Might be a bad idea to be drinking this much pop this late, but whatever. I feel like all this self-isolation and work from home stuff feels a bit like a vacation. You guys find that? Like, I'm losing track of what day of the week it is. Days are losing their feels. I don't feel Monday or Tuesday anymore. What day is it? It is Tuesday. Yeah, I don't feel those anymore. It's just it's become weird. Yeah, feel, you know what it feels like? It feels like the whole world is on vacation right now. Not even not vacation because it's like, n like it's not for fun reasons. It's like people are doing it because they're kind of scared or whatever. But um, it does. It it feels it feels weird. Like obviously, not, this has never come up in any of our lives before. It's such a crazy event. Or I don't know. Maybe you guys have experienced something similar. Who knows? But um, all right. these skills. He definitely could use some more accuracy with his disintegrators. He could have more armor, but that's not really... I think he needs to be more accurate. We're locking that in. Attack enemy with quantum leech that turns 50% of body damage into health for the attacker. Oh, that's cool. Equip heavy armors. Yeah, that's probably... Well, I don't know. Alright, Omar, what do you got? What do you got going on? So, I've not been giving him rifles. Maybe I should, though. The shotgun thing... Maybe it's not the way to go. Like, do I need another shotgun magazine? Probably not. But, like, these aren't that relevant. You know, I'm going to leave this unselected right now. If I realize, if I start to realize he needs another shotgun shot, I'll select it. But, like, maybe I'll transition him to... An assault rifle later. I don't 100% know. Sucker punch. Hmm. That's interesting. If attack is successful. Ooh, headshot. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just continuing to have a pop break here. I'm, I'm ready to get back to it, guys. Uh, we haven't really been using the grenade very much. He does have, like, the repair skill. 
But so does the dock, and I feel like we don't need to have two repairs. So... Well, first of all, we got to start getting rid of some of these things. So I want to keep that, and I want to keep that, I think. Or do I even want to keep this? Hmm. I think we get rid of this one. It's just taking up space. Um, so for him, that gun is worse, so we scrap it. This gun is worse, so we scrap it. I was so excited by laser weapons, but it turns out they actually kind of suck. Yeah, we'll scrap that one too. I need to start making, I need to make hard decisions and make room here. 31 to 35. Okay, so we're getting rid of that too. All right, we've made a lot of room in our Jeep for new guns and stuff. I like how... <laughs> The thing in our Jeep storage is like three guns, a sewing kit, and some pills. And that's taking up our whole Jeep. Our Jeep does not have a large spacious trunk, apparently. Okay. Um, so let's see what we got to work with here. We can lose a guy and recruit a guy over there if we want. Um, okay. So let's go here, 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 here. I don't know what this means yet. It means like some kind of interesting encounter, but whatever. My only thing that we're running low on is fuel. <sighs> okay, the branches of cedar trees sway gently in the rising breeze. The Lebanon cedars and the grove are typical for the region. The ancient Phoenicians used these trees to build their slender galleys. Individual trees can reach an age of over a thousand years. You breathe in the resinous scent of the trees and move on, refreshed. Did that heal us, or was it just pleasant to look at? I guess we'll never know. You've driven on a rockier terrain. Okay, we had to find an alternate route. Lose one fuel. That sucks. We're getting low on fuel. We'll have just enough to make it to the store. Ooh, but we just earned three fuel. <laughs> just when you thought we were doomed. Hidden among the shifting dunes, you discover an inconspicuous temple entrance exposed by the wind. Lots of hidden temples in the Middle East, apparently. Carefully, you descend the, the stone steps. The temple consists of a single room dominated by an odd, inspiring altar. Okay. Hmm. Loot. We got an ornate bronze sacrificial bowl and supplies. I wish we could carry more supplies. They're very handy. We're always maxed out, though. Like, now that we have 10, we should just use one. There's, like, nothing to use it on, though. You know what? Whatever. We will you We will heal good old Bellamy. Waste of supplies. We're rich with supplies. Ooh, ambush! Mm-hmm. This is what we want. You arrive at an abandoned military camp. The place seems deserted. Uh, the sandbag barrier is unmanned. Why did the Germans abandon the camp? As if in response to your unspoken question, the camp suddenly it springs to life. Soldiers jump out from behind barrels and tents. They point their rifles at you. They have you've walked into a trap. <laughs> you guys don't get it. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. What do you got? Four of you? This is a four and four straight up fight. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friends, but you're about to die. Um, alright. So. Um, here. And. Here, I guess. Here, and. Here. Oh, Nazis, so predictable. Boom. Almost killed him. Uh, we're gonna go with her special ability. And we're gonna go. Oh wait, she cannot. Okay, whatever. Range attack. Just kill that guy. Um. 
Wait, I thought we could... We, I, from the placements, it kind of looked like we could hit all these guys, but I guess not. Yeah, the line of sights are really weird here. Um, oh, we can do this, though. <laughs> Boink! Oh, we only get one move. I see how it is. Um, okay, come over here. Okay, whatever. Nazis, you make your move. I'll kill you once I realize where you want to hang out. That's how it's going to be, eh, Nazi? That guy's just standing next to a barrel. No, not a care in the world. Little does he realize his world is about to end. Right. Man, Nazi, they're getting more health. I don't like this. Boom. Worry about moving him later. See if we can kill these guys. 22 plus 10. That I don't think would still kill him. It did not. Can we, can we get her in a position where she can hit them both? I guess we would... I guess we have to stand near the barrel. All right, let's do it. I hope I'm not getting too cocky here. All right, we killed one. The other is severely injured. Can we get close enough to kill this guy? We can. It almost looks like we could. But this. I think we can hit the barrel. Nope. Oh, we can throw a grenade, though. All right. Now is the time of grenades. Boom! Gotcha, Nazi man. Um, and he is attacked. So we're good for this turn. Yeah, that guy's just running for his life. He's like, this ambush has turned out very bad for the Nazis. Things are not going very well for us. National Socialism is not a very good uh, ideology, as it turns out. All right, slaughtered. Brutalize those guys. 100% accuracy. We never miss. All right, what do we got? Exquisite cigar holder. A monocle? And three things of fuel, which we needed. All right, good. Store time. Trade. Uh, let's sell all our valuables. Ooh, we even get an extra 500 bucks for that. Um, okay. Me oh, we have some nice armors here. 26. Jeez, that's a lot of health. Medium armor. Hmm. I might be interested in some of those armors, actually. So, so this guy has medium, and he has 12. And she has light. So I have two mediums. So the mediums are at about 12 and 15. So I could get a medium up to 19. Or 21, actually. So, okay. I think I will buy that. And then this is 26. I don't know if that one's worth it. I'll buy that. And I will replace the weakest armor, which is this one. Some valuables. Why is that minus three? Armors are not worth as much as they should be, apparently. So I have 18. He has 15. He has 18. I think that's fine. We should just buy some fuel. Four. Uh, let's just buy it all. Let's sell that. All right. I'm satisfied with that. I don't think we really need too much more. I mean, we could buy these ex elaborate exotic armors. 26, but... 
Thirty is eighteen. Uh, ah, what the hell? You know what, Omar? We're treating you. We, you know what? You only live once. <laughs> there you go, buddy. I'm gonna hold on to that just for now, but yeah, there we go. Why does he have minus four? My guys like do not have good armor. In the sense of like when they put on armor, for some reason it it wears on them. I don't know. Anyway, um, all right, sure, looks good. Done. Um. So I guess we'd waste a lot of fuel to go down to some of these. Let's go here, here, here. Yeah, interesting. I don't know what that was, but we're never, never going to find out. Group of soldiers is dug in behind sandbags. They have no, not noticed you. Roll a jack! I live for the thrill of combat. Planning phase. All right. Where are the Nazis? Reveal yourselves. Okay, a bunch of armor. They're just standing in a row. Ready to get attacked. Only four of them. <laughs> we're starting to fight fewer and fewer Nazis. It's like there it's it's harder for like the Third Reich to find people who actually want to fight my crew. So we become too efficient at slaughtering them. Uh Baja. There we go. Good positioning, I guess. Somehow. Alright. Start off this Nazi hunt the right way. Like, it was like, oh my god, there's Americans! And other people! They're here to kill us all! Run! They would be right. Um, I guess just stay there. My guys are like so high on health, there's like no point to like healing anyone or anything. I mean, I guess this guy could repair his armor. Sure. Waste some supplies. Oh, that guy set up an ambush. Oh, I forgot about that. We haven't seen guys do that in a while. Yeah, that guy set up a uh, little ambush there. Omar. Yeah, like if Omar moves right now, then he is dead. But I was gonna say he could dash out of it. Let's 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 try. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Actually, I changed my mind. Dead. This guy. Indiana Jones is way over here. Ice this guy. Oh, he missed. Okay. New plan. This guy's gonna come over. Uh, and he's gonna ice this guy with his laser rifle. Oh, he missed too. Okay, new plan. Uh, Natalia's gonna come over here. And ice this guy. Oh no, she can't get over there. Oh, but she can get over here. Okay, this guy. She does 31 to 35 damage. She's not gonna kill either guy. That doesn't make a difference. Miss! Okay! New plan. Uh, hunker down, buddy. At least I didn't. Natalia. Oh, two armor. Okay, he's actually setting up an ambush for all of us now. Luckily, the doc can sneak around and laser him right in the back. Oh, yeah. You like that, buddy? I hope you do, because you're about to get a shotgun to the face. Finish you off. Omar's a beast. He's packing a shotgun and grenades. Like he's not he's not messing around. Um 
Oh, I should have done the two target thing. That was perfect. Damn it. I, I don't use the abilities enough. I really don't. Oh, yeah, buddy. Eat that. All right, everyone is good. Turn's done. I like how the Nazi's still trying to ambush us. Like he doesn't realize it's not gonna work. I'm just gonna sneak around and buoy knife you right in the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how you kill. Alright. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Ooh. We didn't have perfect accuracy there. I wonder why you would not want to reload weapons. There must be a reason. There must be like a strategic reason why you wouldn't want to do that. Somebody's dusty old wallet with 50 bucks in it. Some supplies and some fuel. Take it all. Hmm. All right. So we've been to these points before, so I think just nothing happens. Yeah, we just burn fuel. So I guess in the more advanced stories, there must be like multiple screens that you work through. The men in the hut do not look like ordinary merchants. Uh, we would give you some ammunition if you can pay for it. I really do not need ammo though. That's fine, buddy. We get enough ammo the old fashioned way by slaughtering Nazis. A fortified camp. The desert camp ahead of you is stacked with crates of, and fuel containers. You also see some trucks and jeeps. Um, hey, Big Dumber. Hey, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. We're in the middle of uh, an Indiana Jones-style adventure. Slaughtering Nazis. It's pretty cool. And I am uh, drinking some vanilla Coke. So you're caught up. You're up to speed. Anyway, the desert camp ahead of you is stacked with crates and fuel containers. You also see some trucks and jeeps. There's no doubt about it. You have an important... You found an important German army supply depot. Well, I like the sounds of that. Because it means we can steal from them. So let's see. Shadow. That's an interesting perk. So we don't have that. We can sneak up or we can attack. I'm going to choose the... This choice may yield a positive or negative outcome. <laughs> family game night, eh? Uh, family game night overcooked and with Wii Sports. Yeah, man, I feel too old for Wii Sports myself, actually. It's embarrassing when you end up sweating during a video game, but... Um, hope it was fun. Hope you had some fun with the fam. It's can be a fun time. Uh, we're going to sneak up on these Germans, see what happens. Oh, here we go. Um, you move forward carefully using whatever cover you can find. You soon reach the supply depot, but as you're about to search it, you hear somebody clear their throat behind you. You turn around dismay. You've been discovered by a camp garrison. Oh, we're going to not so fast, though. Here we go. Before anyone can react, Jackson plunges his hands to the supply crate next to him and pulls out a hand grenade. I wonder what would happen if this fuel dump to this fuel dump if I got careless. The soldiers flinch as Jackson casually tosses the grenade from one hand to the other. Maybe you should all just step back and lay down your weapons. The soldiers instantly throw down their weapons and take cover. Grab near supply crate and slowly withdraw. After a few dozen steps, Jackson pulls the pin from the grenade and throws it at the fuel dump. He screams as the soldiers rush for safety. Wow, we blowed it up. Is it gonna explode? Yeah, I like how we get to see like these little uh, animations here. Sorry, it was too tempting. You leap into the Jeep and speed off. The Germans are too busy trying to stop you. Yeah. Free fuel. I wouldn't have minded the fight so we could actually take more of their stuff, but whatever. Whatever. All right, we're doing good on fuel though, which is nice. Hmm. Here we go. You come across an abandoned desert temple. As you explore the structure, you encounter a squad of soldiers searching its halls. 
They have not noticed you yet. Uh, ambush them? Why would we leave? You don't know our mission if you think we'd leave. Alrighty. Here are the Nazis. So... I don't want to do this. I guess we'll start behind the walls. It's the best way to do this. Like right here and here. So Jackson, Talia, Bellamy, and I guess Omar. There we go. All right. Um, I'm going to let the Nazis come to us. That is what we have learned. You know what? I'm just totally passing on my first turn. Your move, Nazi boys. Let's see what they do. What were these Nazis hoping to get out of this temple full of uh, full of vases? There's a lot of vases, in fact. There's an obscene amount of vases. What was this? An ancient vase producing factory or something of some kind? An inhuman amount of vases. Vasai. What's the plural of vases? Is. Okay. Uh, sure, I'll run down here. Huh, huh, huh. Blast this guy away. Oh! I've been shot! Guy's hiding in there, huh? Okay, Omar is gonna make a run for it. Omar is our tough guy, he's running into battle. Alright, Nazis. Show me what you got. Wow me. That guy's running away. Oh, no he's not. Oh, you wanna dance, eh? This is so they have like three of their Nazis are snipers, and this this is not a good level for that. It's a very close quarters level. I think Omar is going to come around and just blow this guy away. It's his tactic. <laughs> Boom! You asked for it, Nazi! One hit kill. Well, he's now kind of exposed. But well, maybe we can help him with that. Let's see what he can do about this. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Get into cover around here and kill this guy. Oh. Boom! All right. Just gotta get rid of this guy so he can't retaliate since nobody's in cover. Since we're bad at planning. Alright, we got him. Blown away. We're actually doing pretty good. For this fight. Okay, now the coast is clear. Omar here. Uh, he can heal Natalia. Alright, just back at full. So, Big Dumber, you missed our first run through here. We're actually on our second adventure. The first adventure, I really screwed up colossally and uh, ended up having my whole squad killed. So, I've become like now very cautious in my combat. Key to this game is making sure you constantly keep your guys healed up, I have discovered. Um, I guess this guy will kind of run over here, I guess. I don't know. There's definitely a learning curve to figuring out how all the uh, 
cover and everything works. I think that the, the computers are afraid of us at this point. Do not want to tango. Boink! Uh, <laughs> back in the cover. She can do the same thing, in fact. Um, oh, shoot. No, she can't. Oops. Run over here. All right, we'll just take an extra turn to kill that guy. Turn over. Yeah, the, they're being so cautious. Normally, they just run at me. Let's buoy knife this guy for effect. In fact, we're going to use the bravery bleed attack. There he goes. That was a very brave attack on our part. Um, let's send Omar in. How far can he go? You can go right up here. Wait, why can't I? Oh, there we go. Ooh, one shot. All right, we're done. Victory. 100%. <laughs> Your videos are the most fun when you screw up colossally. Well... Then you definitely are in a treat. Uh, or you're, there's definitely a treat in store for you because uh, I will put up this video will be up uh, after tonight, so everyone can like watch it from the start. But yeah, I screwed up colossally early on, and in, in this one for sure. But we made it work, which was actually kind of cool. It all came together in the end. Interesting. Tarnished Oakfield Gernsback gun. Is this better than what I am using? I'll have to check the dock. So he's got an improved Kluskenstein beam rifle, which is better than what I've got. Yeah, pretty much on. Well, this one shreds armor more and has slightly more range, I guess, and slightly more critical damage. I guess we won't trash it, but. Well, then again, being able to hit guys is pretty important. Oh, no, it doesn't have accuracy. It just has range. Okay, forget it. We got to get the Doc's accuracy up. He's not the... He's enthusiastic about killing Nazis. He's just not very good at it because he, he can't aim very well. Come across an abandoned German camp. Its garrison must have left in a hurry because everybody, everyday utensils are still lying around. Ah, forks. They must have abandoned this place quickly. Oh, sweet. They left $228 in, in raw, cold, hard cash. And they left a car fuel. Those fools. Ooh, an ambush. Or a fight, or whatever. I can't tell if that's an ambush or a fight. The moment you turn the corner, the sentry behind the sandbag spots you and sounds the alarm. You've, star you've startled a unit of German soldiers. Perfect. Tumult. The planning phase. Okay, one German. Oh, they have dogs this time. You know what? I'm actually going to use the special ability of Natalia. She has an ability to um, stop dogs. So, I'll put her here. I'll put the doc and Omar there. Oh, they get a move turn? That sucks. Oh, man, I could have blown them both away. They were so close. Now they're in cover. That annoys me. Okay, let's see what Natalia's ability is here. Bait. Throw a bait that attracts dogs and zombies for one turn. It's like, I could throw it like, well, not even that far away. Hold on. Can she attack anyone right now? She can attack that dog. Okay, I'm gonna try this bait thing, because, like, what else are we gonna do? Maybe the dogs will attack that guy. Maybe that's what will happen, anyway. But we will kill this dog. 
Because, <laughs> because we can. Because we hate animals. Um, all right, Doc. Can you kill this guy? Miss. All right, Omar. Run in here and slaughter this guy for me, will you? Slaughter him. Oh my god, 47. 47 of 48. These guys always live by one hit point. That's annoying. Um, check this special ability out. We can fire in a line and hit all three of these guys at once. Oh my god, we killed the two dogs. Uh, well, now we don't get to see what the bait does. We took the time to throw the bait. The dogs might have killed that Nazi. And we killed... Oh, God. Okay. Well, whatever. Whatever. Alright, well. Good thing we threw the bait. <laughs> that Nazi must be terrified. Oh, he shot the doc right in the back. Oh, 20 hit points! Omar! Dude. Let's uh, blow up the barrel. Boom. The Nazi's still alive? Did he not see what I blew up? Right. I admit that joke is bad. I cannot believe that guy hit Omar for so much health. Kill yourself, Omar. No, you can't kill that guy. Alright, Doc. It's up to you, man. Don't miss. There we go. Obliterated. <laughs> well, next time we see dogs, we'll find out what that bait thing does. That is ridiculous. Killed all the dogs after I threw the bait. Ooh, gloves. And supplies. Maxed out again. All right, since we are maxed out on supplies again, we need to waste some. So, I guess we want to repair Omar's armor. Use on Omar. And that's probably sufficient. That's all we need to do. Anybody close to leveling yet? Oh, the Doc is. Doc is getting there. Nobody else is even close, though. How is she out leveling Jackson? I thought Jackson was doing more of the kills. Alright. Next adventure! A group of nomads are camped in the shade of a few shrubs. They are armed and some of them are bandaged. When the men see you, they take up their rifles. You stare at each other uh, for a few tense moments. Then their faces relax. I like the pixel art camels and stuff. The art in this game... Every scene is, is cool. Nomad. Foreign soldiers cross our posture. They draw from our wells and take our goats as they please. They laugh loudly at our complaints. The proud warriors of our tribe waited in ambush as they crossed the ravines in the wadi. We shot six of them and they disappeared before they knew where the shots came from. Our tradition of hospitality is sacred, but nobody shall abuse it with impunity. We are free people and we will fight when our freedom is trampled on. I agree with you, kind sirs. Hey, we all got experience from doing that. Talking to those people gave it. We're a little wiser. A little more worldly now. I like it. Uh, the water hole surrounded by a few palm trees and shrubs that sway gently in the wind. It might be a good idea to take a break. Let's do it. Rest up. Ugh, amazing lighting effects. The party is healed. could even repair more armor just to waste another supply. All right, let's use it on Natalia. Max her out, might as well. And... Hmm. I'm like trying to think of our path here. Like here, 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 here. We're gonna have a really meandering path here. We don't need to recruit another person, so we don't need to go there. Yeah, so wait, what did I say? Here, 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 here. Yeah, okay, so we can go... Well, here's our next place. A Nazi ambush. Exciting. Ooh, they have, like, technology. 
I wonder if this eventually takes like a Hellboy twist and they're like trying to summon. You know, there's like lots of like cool Nazi villains. There's like the Nazis from Hellboy, the Nazis from Captain America, the Nazis from Indiana Jones, of course. They're all like slightly different. It's like the Hellboy Nazis were very supernatural. The Indiana Jones one worked kind of as well. The Hell, the um, Winter, or not Winter Soldier, the original Captain America ones were just sort of like. Not supernatural, but, you know, like, sci-fi-ish. Anyway, as you walk around the corner of the walls, Temple Complex is spotted by an enemy sentry. Germans are here. Blah, 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 Germans are attacking. Go get them. All right. Um, okay, so they're all kind of down there. That's easy. Okay, so Jackson will go here. Like that, like that. Omar will go. I feel like I, I actually placed them incorrectly, but whatever. We'll make it work. Oh, they get to move anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Doesn't make a difference. Okay, just went straight up, took cover behind an explosive barrel. Sniper. See, the thing is, we can probably just... Oh, no. Okay, here. We're going to use a double shot. I'm going to shoot him in the barrel. Oh, we missed him, but we hit the barrel, and now he's almost dead. Okay, well, let's finish him off. Should have just fired from this guy initially. He <laughs> screwed that up. Oh well. You know what? We're not we're not killing Nazis the most efficient way. We're killing them the most fun way. That's that's what we're doing. Sometimes you got to take life slow and enjoy the little things like killing Nazis in amusing ways. <laughs> Boom. I guess we can just go right here and shoot them. We could also just throw a grenade at them. These use supplies, I think. What does it say? Blah, 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 blah. Rearmament. So I can only use it twice in combat. I think it uses supplies. Whatever. Let's just kill him. Oh, we missed! Okay. Well. We'll deal with that on the next turn, I guess. Um, sure. Right, we're good. Everybody is in position, in cover. That guy is fleeing for his life. He's like, oh god, they want to kill me. This is getting serious. I'm like thinking forward to like bringing this guy into the fray over here. So we bring him over here. Kill him. He's full health. Everyone's full health except this guy. So bandage yourself. And then just run haphazardly into the fray, Omar. I'm beginning to think it would be wiser to give Omar an, an assault rifle. He's had a shotgun for a long time, and it's not really worked out. You can't really one-shot Nazis. Maybe it'd be more effective to have him have a gun. What is his special abilities again? I'm going to look into whether we have a good assault rifle to give to Omar. Don't let me forget. <laughs> I'll probably forget after this battle. Anyway, um, okay. Um, wait, can she attack anyone? Oh, she, she can attack this guy. Nice. Um... What does this do? Meltdown units within a straight line. So it hits an obstacle. Hmm, interesting. Um, we've not found a reason to use that ability yet. I'm just gonna kill that guy. Because I would not have killed that guy. I think we're down to one enemy. Do your worst, Nazi boy! Oh god, that was pretty that that ow. 
He took my advice literally. You know what, Doc? Heal your own armor. After that, after that brutal attack. Heal your own armor. Oh, we missed. Uh-oh. I'm kind of wasting supplies now. Maybe I should stop just telling these guys to use whatever supplies they need and be more thoughtful about it. Um, I guess we're going to run out this way and try and catch this guy over here. Can I hit him? I cannot. All right, just go into bunker mode. Oh, I should have moved her. Oh, only four armor damage. Okay, Natalia. Let's kill this guy. Miss again! All right, get in the cover this time. Thank you. Hey, dude. Kill this jerk. Eight hit points. All right, it's all up to you, Indiana Jones dude. Captain Hero. Oh, miss. Um, all right, it's all up to you, Omar. Prince Omar. There we go. Omar never lets us down. Omar's all about it. 59% accuracy. Yee. Okay. Sloppier than we're used to. Ooh, improved rifle. Take, take, take. Sloppier than we are used to, but we did it. Um, I said I was going to look into an assault rifle for Omar. So let's see what that one's like. So that's my old rifle. Jeez. 30 to 41. Well, 27 to 37. That's only a few points less. Hmm. Well, let's see. If we don't like it, we can switch it back. We have his Caputo. I mean, if he gets a really powerful shotgun, we'll replace it, but this is an epic machine gun. And this is just a common machine gun. And it's a common shotgun that he had, too, so... All right. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if we want to keep it. We got many more little villages to explore here before we finish for the evening. Something isn't right with the strange bunker you found among the desert dunes. You carefully sneak closer. All right. Wait. This is, these aren't Nazis. Your caution was justified. A group of cultists. Ooh. A new kind of enemy. Maybe we're going to regret not having a shotgun now. Hmm. A couple of them up there. None of them down here. Okay. There's a lot of them up there, actually. Okay, so Jackson and Natalia. Doc. And Omar. All right. So cultists have 40 hit points or 41. So they have a 100% chance of hitting him, but only a 2 in 11 chance of killing him. Whereas... Definitely is not going to kill him. Oh, but... Oh... Okay, let's start with a burst fire, because they are in a line. We never get to do this. Oh, 39 to both. Damn. All right, well, you know what? Natalia's going to do a two-shotter on these two. Oh. oh, that guy barfed as he died. Oh, and he exploded. Okay. Good to know that those guys do that. Now, Omar here. You know what? Can we throw a grenade? God, it's gonna hit them both. Oh yeah! Oh, that guy barfed and died. Okay, in the dock. Man, we're just gonna ice these guys. We're not even gonna get a turn. 
Oh, we missed. That would have been so sweet to just take them all out. Oh, no, there's one more cultist way up there, I think. Oh, here he comes. Oh, no, there's two more. Oh! They have bombs. They have bombs. Okay. We're fighting a whole new class of enemy. Obliterated. It's good. Okay, Omar. It's nice that Omar has range now, I think. So probably Jackson and the Doc can kill him. We'll just focus on that guy. Alright, Jackson. Oh, shoot. Okay. So I guess we're being really stupid by standing just side by side because any explosives will hurt us both. So the doc is going to run and Omar is going to run too. We're going to try and like scatter ourselves around. He's in a good position. He's in a good position. Do your worst cultist mans. Uh oh. That guy explodes, right? He missed. Oh, damn! Okay. Um, how do I want to do this? I'd like to take advantage of the free heal that Omar has to heal up the dock before I uh, pass this level. Omar's gonna run all the way over here. Doc is going to run all the way over here. Ah, okay, you know what? Whatever. Just to kill this guy. No free heal, but that's okay. That's okay. Alright, let's see what happened. Hopefully these guys get better loot, by the way. Oh my god, somebody's head. A shrunken head. Antique supplies. Petroleum. Huh. Interesting. And a rifle. Okay. Um, let's check out what happened here. So she definitely needs her armor repaired. Uh, use on Natalia. Man, we're actually we're actually now are running low on supplies. Um, I think that's okay. Natalia definitely at the beginning of next combat. Omar will do a free heal on her, so that will be our plan there. Right. Let's carry on on our journey here. Hopefully, we find some supplies. Uh, a Nazi tent with nothing of value. Ooh, a market. Exactly what we needed. The village is in a state of great excitement due to the arrival of a traveling merchant. Guess what, good sir? We have stuff to trade with you. We already have that shotgun. For the first time ever, we might buy supplies. We'll buy a little bit of fuel. We will buy two supplies. Eh, or three supplies, whatever. It's only money, right guys? Ammo, we have 60. We actually are a little low on ammo. Yeah, but screw it. I like to live dangerously. Level up Natalia. Restores 25% of the target's hit points. Also removes any negative effects. Does not require supplies. That's good. Concentrating restores one bravery for each point for this character. Nah, first aid. What's the point of having bravery if you don't have any skills? First aid. Uh, so that's handy now. So now she can actually heal herself without burning through supplies. So that's good. And nobody else is near You're leveling up, huh? All right, off to the next place. What got going on here? As you leave the rocky foothills behind, you notice a cloud of dust approaching rapidly on your right. On a parallel sandy track, you see a fully laden, ruck-mocked Jean 
Jeep. I can't say that. We're marked. I don't know how to say that. Its driver has spotted you. Is trying to get away. After several minutes of hot pursuit, it looks like the enemy Jeep is going to get away. Then the driver fails to see a small boulder at the edge of the track. The vehicle flips and rolls onto its side. As you get out of your own vehicle, you see the driver hanging lifelessly in the windshield. Small flames flicker from under the hood. A small plume of smoke rises in the air. You notice the Jeep's cargo. It's loaded with gasoline canisters. Smother the fire with sand. Only an engineer would think of that. Do it! She did it. Oof. Desperate courage, you spring towards the burning car. The driver is beyond help. You frantically release the guy line and grab the a few jerry cans before the fire spreads to them sprint to safety as fast as your legs will carry you just as you reach your vehicle a huge explosion destroys the jeep so we get free fuel i guess bingo we'll take it should we just get rid of this rifle like this one's just better 31 to 35 and this is 25 to 28 yeah Literally just get rid of that. Alright. We got some fuel. Nothing to uh, balk at. Ooh, more cultists. Your exploration of the bunker takes you down endless steps until you reach a room that looks like the scene of an explosion. Body parts are scattered on the floor, guts on the wall, and blood, blood everywhere. Vile creatures crouch over the corpses of the soldiers. Oh god, what are these? Oh, are these zombies? There was a spoiler in one of the, uh... Uh, Big Dumber, I have a 7.30 meeting tomorrow, time for bed. Sir, thank you for stopping by. Um, good luck at your meeting tomorrow. Stay safe, stay healthy, all that jazz. Have a good one, my friend. Um, so there was a spoiler early in the game that told us that there would be zombies eventually. Are these... Zombies. Um, how do I want to position guys here? It's kind of hard to see what I'm looking at in terms of terrain. Okay. Jackson. Uh, okay, like this, I guess. And then Bellamy. Omar. Yes, these sound like zombies. Well, they move pretty fast. Maybe those guys are cultists. Oh yeah, they totally are. Called it. Okay. Um, cultist. Missed. Wish I had my shotgun, could sneak up behind him. Um, boom! Shot to the gut. Kill this guy too. Damn it. Uh, what, whatever. Let's just kill these guys. I feel like we're positioned badly against the cultists' explosive weapons. There's your zombies, though. Class A zombies. Do you think the zombies will attack the cultists, or are they allied with them? You dick. Oh. Those knives, the cultist knives, are actually like, pretty deadly. Oh, she should just heal herself. There we go. And now uh, you... Wait, can I do a... Uh, rotated? No, I can't. Right. Oh, I missed! Oh, no. Oh, no, they're just going to throw more knives... Doc, in theory, can save us? He's putting himself in harm's way, but... Let's see if this works. Alright, we killed the cultists. That was important. Okay, 
Omar's coming over here now. I'm gonna further heal the doc. We gotta use all these free heals that we can. Four zombies. Four zombos. How smart are they? Too smart! 15 points of damage. That guy, that zombie's off by himself. He didn't know what's going on. Um, let's, let's see how hard these zombies are to kill, first of all. Damn it, they're not in line. <laughs> Get in the line. Line up, you stinking zombies. Oh my god, they're so easy to kill. Oh, they just fall apart. Okay. Well, then let's fall, carry forward with our plan to heal the dock. And then the dock is going to come up to save uh, the other dock. Oh my god, the zombies are so easy to kill. Okay. So pro tip, kill the zombies before they can hurt you, I guess. Easy. We're definitely gonna have to burn some supplies to heal everyone's armor because our armor is almost gone. We'll just do that after the mission though. No sense in doing it now. Okay. Can't get a line of sight on this last zombie. Let's see if this works. Surprise, zombie! Hmm. Alright, so the cultists throw like grenades. You don't want to be bunched up together. The zombies do a lot of damage, but they're actually weak, easy to kill. Ooh, damned cedar caskets, antique supplies, petroleum, and gunpowder. Hmm. We're actually slowly getting low on ammo though that is a thing that's happening okay doc use on jackson use on yourself use on omar and use on natalia all right we are we are healed up in terms of armor doc still needs some health but we can just do that for free when we start the next combat we could get another person, but we don't need another person. So we're gonna carry on on our merry way. <laughs> Noticing a metallic object in the ground, you decide it is useless trash and leave. Not too exciting. Sometimes, sometimes you find gems. Sometimes you find junk. Oh, they've spiked people's heads. Something isn't quite right with this lone bunker, you think? The eerie silence, the steel door swinging loosely on its hinges, the body of the soldier missing his legs. Yeah, something seems suspicious here. Something's a little not right. With weapons drawn, you start to explore the bunker. You soon come across a group of strange creatures clawing at the remains of some dead soldiers. <laughs> back to the... just back out slowly. Nah, we fight, man. We don't let zombies... we don't let zombies have the last laugh. Who could live with themselves knowing that they let zombies unleash themselves in the Jerusalem deserts? I don't know, man. Not me, though. Am I in a hall? It's hard to, like, tell the terrain sometimes. Um, it doesn't... I'm just gonna put my guys all right here. It doesn't really matter where they are. Okay. Oh, man. If I go here... In theory, I can like machine gun them because they're in a the line. Like, do it like that. It doesn't work. Wait, why? Oh, oh damn it. That's so annoying. So I'm in cover, and like I can pop out and kill one of these guys, but I can't do the line attack. Okay, hold on. Omar also has a machine gun. Let's see if he can do the line attack. There we go. Damn it, Omar! You missed! 
Um, Alright. Well, this is on me. You missed! <laughs> Whatever. I'd really like to kill that guy too, but I guess it's just not in the cards. Although, no wait, it is in the cards. She could... Damn it, I want to do a double attack on her. Well, maybe she could double attack these two zombies. That's something. That one. Nope, there isn't a second zombie. Whatever. Just single attack this guy. <laughs> 20 kills with a pistol. Ooh. We got a special pistol. That is sweet. I'm trying to be like super efficient with my abilities and stuff and use the double hits, but in these close quarters like this, it's actually like hard to do. You bastard. Oh. Oh, Omar. Hang in there, bro. Man, they do so much armor damage, it's crazy. I'm burning all my supplies just to like heal armor. Okay, double attack. Oh! Son of a bitch. That's how I lost the first time around, by doing that. This is gonna cost me. Both of those zombies would have been dead. Both of those zombies would have been dead. Omar. This is... Oh, God. Okay. Well, let's do our double attack here. Boom, boom. See, they would have been dead. I took... Ton of damage for no reason there. Kill this guy. Nope. Doc. Doc, can you help me out on this one here? Kill this guy. Okay. Come up here. Okay, whatever. Hopefully. Yeah, I was going to say, hopefully he goes for this guy. Because these guys can, like, heal themselves a bit. Oh, they don't have any brave points. Never mind. Well, you know what? Use a med kit on Omar. There we go. Omar, you're back to full strength, bud. Just kill this guy. Get it over with. Damn it. <laughs> Sometimes I think this is, like, end this character's turn, not end the whole thing. There should be, like, a confirmation, like, if you still have moves left. That is one thing I wish the UI in this did. It is too easy to just screw yourself totally over. Okay. Ooh. Epic armor. Plus one willpower. Alright, maybe it was worth it. Alright. Um, Jeez. Let's uh, figure this out here. What is what does willpower determines the number of bravery points used to execute special ability? So we actually want this guy to have the willpower, and then this guy to just have better armor. Yeah, there we go. Now this gun. <laughs> That's a gun. Now that's a gun. Damn. She is quickly becoming like one of the most effective fighters we have. Which means we have to repair her armor. We can't just leave it. Although, let's level him up first. Attack enemies with a quantum leech. Or wear heavy armors. He doesn't use any of his skills very often. So let's give him one that... He can actually use it will heal himself heavy armor i'd rather be using those bravery points for something all right so jackson is doing good okay, everyone's doing good okay i just have to um use on natalia and use on omar 
Jeez, Omar still needs armor repaired. We'll leave it at that for right now. Um, we can just get rid of this gun, though. Well, I'll keep it because... And should I get rid of this? There's current armor. No. Ah, whatever. Okay, that's, that's good enough. I don't know why I'm hoarding all these random items in my Jeep, but I just don't want to, like, dump them all. You sneak up on an improvised Wehrmacht camp. Soldiers are piling sandbags, digging latrine dinches. There are a lot of activity. Off to one side, you see a small barbed wire stockade with a sentry in front of it. Do they have a prisoner? You try to decide what to do. Um, Trickster. This option is a character perk. Cool. It'd be so neat to have other characters who had, like, these other perks. But, I mean, obviously, like, we have good ones. We have Engineer and stuff. Anyway, surprise, mother effers! Hey, you know another movie where they kill Nazis is, is Inglorious Bastards, which is another that that I I do like that movie, but I know it has gotten criticism because it's sort of like just revenge porn, you know, like, um, and obviously nobody did. I mean, people killed Nazis, but like not not like in such a way as is portrayed in the movie. But yeah, okay. There's a lot of nearby Nazis. Got to plan this out. Okay. So. So, um, you and you will be up front. You will be there. I guess. I don't want to put you, like, too far away. I guess you'll just be there. Right. So we have, we have the initiative. Let's use it to great effect. Oh, we have so much range. It's crazy. Oh, wait. Let's see her new gun. She does 40 to 44 damage. Wait, how much health do these Nazis have? He's 41. He's 48. Okay, so she has a 100% chance of hitting. And if she does 40 damage, she doesn't kill him. But if she does 41, 42, 43, or 44, she kills him. So she has a 4 out of 5 chance of killing this guy. Oh, oh yeah! 41 exactly. You almost screwed it up. You almost screwed it up, Natalia, but you didn't. So I'm going to let you heal yourself. Good job. Good job, Natalia. Next is Omar. Omar is in range of a Nazi, so he will shoot him. Ooh. And Omar, you're going to heal the doc. Everybody's going to stay at full health. It is our goal. All right, good. This is turning out pretty well. This is much better than our first time playing this. All right, let's just kill this guy. Blue! All right, now everybody, just stay in cover. Let them come to us. We wiped two of them out before they even got a turn. Oh, and that guy is trying to ambush us. Got to get out of this ambush. Okay, well, he is not in the ambush. So, Omar. Oh, shoot. Omar. I wanted you to walk around the ambush. Alright. Whatever. There we go. Barrel killed him. Oh, he's just totally in range. Oh, we sniped him. We sniped the sniper. All right. Hey, Omar and the doc are on the same square. I guess that happens when you get ambushed. You know, I don't think you're normally allowed to do that. Omar and doc are in a very, uh, very compromising joint position there. Um, all right. Up and buoy him. Let's try. 
see if this works. Bleed. Oh, he's totally dead. He's totally dead. That's actually a pretty good tactic for fighting those armored guys is to like buoy them. Okay, Omar. Gonna move over here. And damn it. Duck. Oh, there's no way you're hitting that guy. Duck. How about Is there any way she can hit him? No, she can't get in range. All right, she'll go over here. And Doc will just go over here and cover. I want to see how much health this guy loses when he bleeds out on his turn. Nice. All right, the special buoy knife is actually... I should, I should have been using that more, I guess. It's actually quite effective. All right, Natalia, here's your chance. Not so fast, Nazi! Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet having a super-powered gun on her. Just one-shots these guys. It's funny how easy it's getting to kill the Nazis, which is funny because they have guns, but like the zombies and the cultists are actually harder. They don't have guns. Cultists have those stupid explosive barfs. Ooh, a rare tarnished iron cross and car fuel. You release a prisoner from his bonds, and he shakes your hand effus uh, effusively. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Things would have gone badly without you. Hey, you look like you could use some help. I don't suppose you have room for another passenger. Uh, Miguel Ignacio Calbero, Spanish Civil War poet. What are his skills, I wonder? He's basically just my, uh, just my main guy. He's an anti-fascist, just like our dog was. And he has intimidation. If you can be intimidated by a poet, you may not be the toughest guy around. Interesting. Um, I mean, I like you, buddy, but we just don't have room for you. So, unfortunately, I uh, know. We have Jackson, who is our main fighter class character. Okay, vitality gives me more health. I don't know that I need that. Agility is... I can move more. Dexterity... Has better aim and improved hit probabilities. I think that's what I want. I want to just hit guys all the time. Every time. Super high accuracy. Never miss. I don't need to move. They come to me. Um... Oh, this guy's leveled up twice. We really should do this. Okay, I think even if I'm using a shotgun, the critical hit is so rare. So I would rather have like more assault rifle accuracy, I think. So that's what I want. Um, and then same thing here. Willpower, number of bravery points. That actually might be useful. But dexterity, better aim and improved hit probabilities. Hmm. That's a hard choice. Having more willpower would be nice. But I think I do want to be able to hit enemies more, ultimately. Alright. Nobody else is going to level up on this run. We're way too far away for that. Okay, so how, how do I want to do this? Here, to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. Yeah. I guess that's the way. Or I could just take this roundabout route. One... Two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So I get one more going this way, but one of them is guaranteed dude, dude mission. I have twelve fuel. Uh, but I do miss this. Okay, we, no, we're going for like the exciting encounter. So either way, we're going here first, but. Hey, look, StarCraft Minerals, the actual blue kind. Strange iridescent crystals line the path. You stop to investigate the weird mineral formations when you hear the sound of engines. I also kind of think of, like, Tiberium when I see this. You sneak forward and soon discover a unit of unsuspecting German soldiers. Oh, we're ambushing them in the crystal forest. You better believe it. We're icing these Germans. 
These Nazi scumbags. Where are they? Oh, they're all down here. This is a tall map. Okay. So we'll go here, and here, and here, and here. And, uh, we're letting them come to us. Hold your ground, everyone! Let the Nazi dogs come to the killing field! Oh, shoot, that guy was in range. Oh, well, whatever, he missed. And now he's dead. He's so close, we're just gonna kill him. That guy chose voluntarily. I'd like to point out he's volunteering to stand by an explosive barrel. Um, alright. So, first, the doctor... I wonder if that will kill him. It does not. Okay, good to know. We had to test it somehow. How's everyone's health, by the way? Virtually at the max. I can even kill that guy. Okay, hold on. We gotta think about how we're gonna split our shots up here. So we do have to kill that guy. This guy probably has the shortest range, so he can only shoot this guy. So he'll do that. And we have... I guess we might as well shoot and do that. Alright, well... I guess we're not killing more than one guy. Okay, let's wait. We'll probably take a bit of damage and we can like use our bandage skills to heal up a little bit here. Oh, that guy's just running away. Alright. <laughs> We'll take it. We scared him good by almost killing him. Alright. Go turn. See what our hit percentages is, are now. 56%. Ow! Ow! Stop it! Alright, we're good. Eh. Eh. Oh, 39 of 40. <laughs> eh, we'll wait. <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. He's also running away. Oh! Okay, well, we knew we were going to take some damage. It's, oh, 17, though. Seems excessive. Okay, Doc. Ice these guys, will you? Oh, Doc. Oh, Doc. Um, okay. Can you kill this guy? Nine! They got to me! Okay, well, Omar can heal the next turn. And nobody else. Okay, so come over here. You heal Omar. He's virtually healed. 60 to 70 is pretty good for our squad. This this is like a very cautious I don't even we don't need to be this cautious, but I am being. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, that was the last guy. I was going to have Omar heal himself. Damn it, I should have done that first. Missed out on a free heal. Yeah, well. What did we win? Ooh. Heavy armor. Okay, first of all, silver fountain pen. We found a rusty can opener. Sacred treasures. Supplies. Actually, I'm very low on supplies. I do not like it. Um, so this is light armor. So it is virtually equivalent to what she's got. But it looks more adventure-y. I guess it's more common? Or it's somehow, a, oh, it's a higher item level, but it is more common, is less rare. 
So I guess we should swap this with what she's got on and sell this. I guess. Nah, uh, we'll keep it for now. Nah. Let's not be sentimental. In fact, let's get rid of this thing too. It's just taking up space. In fact, let's get rid of this thing too. It's just taking up space. There we go. <laughs> get rid of all that crap. Okay, well, let's heal up Omar's armor a bit. I think it also looks pretty good. Um, so now we'll go there, 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 there. Alright. What do we got? As you drive along the track at the edge of the gorge, you encounter a lone nomad. The worried man is bent over his camel, which is lying on the ground and breathing with heavy, uneven gasps. Um, we can speak in ancient languages, so let's go ahead and talk to him. We can also inspect his camel. Hmm. Well, let's try that. Maybe we can help him. Let's see. Omar bends uh, over the sick uh, animal and peers into its mouth. Omar does. He's not the medical expert. Then he digs some tablets out of his first aid kit, stuffs them in the, into the gasping animal's mouth. Not long after, the camel's condition improves noticeably and eventually it manages to stagger to its feet. The man is beside himself with joy. He invites you to follow him to his camp if you need supply or anything. Sounds great. It's an ambush, isn't it? Oh, no, it isn't. A merchant has pitched a tent. Sweet. All right, sell our sack of goodies. We will buy some supplies, probably. Heavy armor. I think Omar already has that. He has a battle dress. What is this? A new battle. That's the same thing. Okay. Well, just sell me some supplies. And we'll consider it even. I mean, I did save your camel. It'd be nice if you just gave me supplies. But I guess we're not there yet with our friendship. Right, what else we got? We're almost at the end, guys. The end of this great journey. The boundless desert in front of you is a sight to behold. Soon you continue your journey. Oh. You see desert. Dot, dot, dot. There is nothing. You suddenly see something flash in the endless sea of dunes. You soon come to a track that crosses your path. You see the tire tracks of several vehicles, probably German military convoy. Your suspicions are confirmed when you find a long line of jerry cans scattered along the edge of the track. German army supplies. They probably fell off a truck. That is the oldest line in the criminal book. Fell off a truck. Oh, three fuel? I will take it. Ooh, the tire tracks lead deeper into the desert. Perhaps you'll find more fuel if you follow them. Of course we will. We're looking for these Germans, man. Oh, yeah. As you drive around the large dune, you come across a unit of Nazi soldiers. Their panzers is at, their panzers at a standstill. They appear to be searching the sand for lost fuel. They spot you immediately and attack. I was aching for a fight, man. I wanted to take these guys on. All right. We got a dog. We got two, three dogs. So we're gonna get to, so finally, we'll get to try out this bait thing and see what it does. Um, or we'll see if we even need to. I guess we're just gonna take cover kind of behind this and this. And this and this. I don't know. I kind of feel like my initial positionings don't make a huge difference. But I still am like putting a lot of thought into it, you know. I'm like, where should I put each person? All right, doggos. I feel bad shooting dogs now because it's just getting so easy to kill them. All right, scientist man, can you shoot a dog? Oh, it's not too far away. All right, Omar, can you shoot a dog? Yes, you can. Miss Omar. Omar, 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 what are we gonna do with you, Omar? That's how you do it. 42 damage right to its brain. No mercy. Boom. Oh, we missed again. All right. Wait for the Nazis to come to us, folks. They're kind of hesitating here. Yes. Okay, here come more dogs. I think this dog will get close enough to attack us. Yep. Ooh, we evaded. Good call. All right. So 
sneak up here. And you know what though? I could use my ability. Probably ice both of the dogs. Nope, only got one of them. All right, Omar, just you kill the other one. There we go. Now the dock here. Oh, missed! Unbelievable! This is the luckiest Nazi in history. Well, for one turn. He'll die shortly. Um, you know what? Just heal yourself. It's free. Oh, I should get Omar to heal himself, too. Don't forget about those free heals. Oh, Doc. That looked painful, buddy. All right, here come the humans. We've killed all the Nazi dogs. How does a dog believe in National Socialism, you say? I don't know. I don't have all the answers. But he does. Damn it. Doc, you gotta get up here and in the action. You've got the most powerful gun. Kill these guys. Nine! What do they say in Wolfenstein when you kill them? Oh, there's another group of Nazis. Wolfenstein 3D. And they have like a cyborg Hitler or something at the end. What do the Nazis in in uh, Wolfenstein say when you kill them? It's, oh, it's gonna bug me now. They say something. <laughs> I'm fairly certain the Nazis say something when you kill them. Cool! Like those guys. Those guys are saying stuff. Not the same as in Wolfenstein. God, what do they say? This guy's watched us gun down all his friends, his best friends in the world. He's like, I no longer want to live. I don't want to be a Nazi. I don't want to not be a Nazi. I just don't want to be here. Take me. You've killed Hans. Everyone I've ever loved. I guess he loved Hans. Boom! Fell right on top of him. Perfectly lined up his corpse with his friends. So now they'll always be together. Ooh, 37 ammo. We are getting low on ammo. It's funny because we had no pro- oh, we're maxed out on supplies. We had no problems with ammo on the previous screen. Just like gradually running out. I guess I could use my fuel to finish exploring these little areas. You're probably the first people in many years. Desert has left little more than crumbling walls. One, two, three, four. Then one, two, three. Whatever. Should we do it? I want to see one more. I want one more fight. I'm enjoying these fights. Stone cube next to the desert track. Faded Roman letters. There's no doubt it's an ancient Roman boundary stone. Probably marked the course of Limes uh, Arabicus, the ancient border with the wild horse tribes. Interesting. Oh, one more good fight. Maybe there's a market down here. We buy something cool. Uh, gas for ammo. Hmm. I'll give it to you guys. Oh, I'll dabble. Get, get in on the trades. Ooh, strange iridescent crystal. Discover large detachment of unsuspecting Germans. Don't you love it when they're unsuspecting? They don't suspect a thing. That's what makes them perfect prey um, all right so we got it's all soldiers two snipers two soldiers and two iron men they're all kind of down in that direction perfect um, here 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 and here. now also do we need to heal the Doc could use a heal, actually. The Doc and Omar also need their armor repaired. But other than that, we're good. So let's not worry about it too much right now, then. Uh, let's go over like this. 
Okay, I guess I can't do my special attack yet. Boom! Oh, did I just straight up kill that guy? One-shotted. Damn straight. Don't mess with me, Nazi. You don't believe me, you don't want none of this. Okay, the dock. Or she's gonna heal the dock. And run over here. And the dock. And to follow suit. Alright. Looks good to me. Let's see what they do. They always just bum rush ya. Oh! Guess I'm not in cover from that angle. Miss. Okay, there are Nazis to the south, which I kind of didn't notice. Jeez. We should kill those sniper ones. They can be a bit of a problem. Okay, they've got all of us in a trap, basically. Um, how can we do this? Nope. Omar. Oh, he's in range, but he can't kill him. He's not in range. Okay, I think Omar can knock this guy out of his... Ow. Nope. Oh, damn, that did a lot of damage to Omar, too. Um, okay. Well, you know what? Guess what, Nazis? Um, yeah, that's a trooper. I don't care about him. Oh, missed! No! Okay. Well, heal yourself, Omar. Because you took one for the team. He got us out of the sniper trap by letting the sniper kill us. Or hit him. Let's, um... First, we're going to hop over this guy. Attack. Miss. Okay. Um, I wanted to buoy knife him, but I thought I would make sure he gets damaged first. So now we have a choice. Shoot him and do 30 to 41 damage. Small chance of killing him. Or bleed him. Let's bleed him. 30. He'll probably bleed out in the next turn or two, but I was hoping he would die at his next turn. Alright, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, he has one hit left. I swear the enemies in this game get so lucky with having one hit point left. Well, at least he misses us. Oh! Oh! Our armor is being destroyed by these snipers. Oh, there's another guy down there I didn't even see. Um, hmm. I mean, that guy's dead. I think he's just going to bleed out his next turn. So we can instead focus on this. Alright. Killed him. She's going to run down here. Going to uh, one shot that guy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I guess. Where do we want to be in terms of cover? Here. We will shoot this guy. Thirty-five. Dark. I really hope this guy bleeds out. I kind of don't want to shoot him just because I want to see if he bleeds out. Like, is the bleeding for more than one turn? I think it is. So let's see. You better die, buddy. Oh, he freaking didn't die. Oh, you dick. Setting up ambushes. Well, here's how we deal with an ambush. This guy just shoots you in the back. Oh, I missed! Okay, here's how we deal with ambushes. She just straight up, straight up shoots you in the back. Alright, he's dead. Um, okay, our guys have been getting hit. He needs to heal. 
Okay. Jackson Jefferson over here needs to heal. Zoo's gonna run over here so we can heal with her. Free heals, free heals. Make use of them. This guy. Oh, we missed! Damn it! Um. Okay. I feel like we're, we're totally giving up on the idea that we need cover. We're just missing again! Oh, God. This stupid Nazi. Hey, hey we've evaded. That's nice. Oh, God. Now she needs a heal. All right, well, whatever. All right, Bellamy. What the? That guy's out of range. This doc's gonna like straight up plasma rifle this guy right in the face. Um. Oh, she needs healing more than he does. Right, heal yourself. Right, I guess he will just uh, buoy knife this guy again. Oh, I straight up killed him. I thought he was going to have to bleed out the next turn. Sloppy, not my best work. 59% shot accuracy. Let's not look, linger too long on that. A little sloppy, I will admit. We found a used shaving brush. Ooh, a prototype laser gun. We will see if that is useful or not. Small ammo box. Car fuel. Okay, so the doc here is using a laser gun. What is this prototype? It does less damage, but is more accurate with longer range. Maybe we want that, to be honest. Um, and it gives him more agility. This one gave him agility and crit hit strength. We just need the doc to actually hit stuff. I think that's the key. Uh, we will use on Natalia. We use on Omar. Okay, we do need to heal Jackson, but we got a couple free heals coming at the beginning of next combat, so let's save it. We have 10 fuel, so we might as well just go to this last place here. Castle. Ooh, a castle. The castle ruin on the hill is clearly Christian origin, perhaps the remains of a crusader stronghold. This is probably an outpost of the hapless principality of Antioch, which fell to the onslaughts of the Mamluks and Mongols. These dismal walls are all that remains. All right. Well, so we have eight fuel. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, whatever. Let's just see who's waiting for us here. Out of curiosity, I hope it's the dog. As you're asking the villagers for directions, you suddenly hear a familiar voice calling to you. Piera, hey, get me out of here. You look around and see Piera waving desperately from the barred window of her prison cell, or his prison cell. No idea. One moment I'm having a drink, the next thing I wake up here. He's got a blind drunk and started smashing up our inn. Um, examine the man. Medically. Natalia carefully examines the man's swollen cheeks. What have we here? An infected tooth? pain is so bad I haven't slept in days. Without further ado, Natalia reaches for her pair of pliers. Ooh. Maybe I could meet you halfway. Captain Louise Piranha Piera. What are his skills? Shotgun, buoy knife, heavy armor. So he's basically like our Omar. He receives less damage. 20% versus animal. And he is a survivalist. Cool. Not interested. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It doesn't matter. Let's go back the way we came. No. Like how the little jeep like drives around on the map. Just burning through fuel here. Who needs it? All right, guys, you ready for the end? God, this has been like a five-hour stream. Um, oh, Henry's here. Hey, it's early morning in Finland. I logged in, checked my emails, peeked at YouTube, and noticed Jay is making a live stream. Well, I gotta go grocery shopping. Might stock up on toilet paper, too. 
Hey dude, glad you're able to stop by. Good luck with the TP, and uh, hope you're staying safe, staying healthy, staying isolated and quarantined, like me playing games. Um, although this is this is the end of our stream, I think after this little battle here. It's been five hours, man. You can believe it. Anyway, on a rise ahead of you, you spot a lone soldier with his back to you. You sneak forward quickly and easily overpower him. Now you crouch behind the Wormach Jeep. Survey the site below. An improvised German camp. Improvised? As opposed to like a thoroughly engineered and planned one. Oh yeah, we tied him up. That's awesome. I love these like little cutscenes and they like show your guys doing stuff. Its size suggests it must be the base of some importance. A soft groan tells you that the soldier has regained consciousness. We could intimidate him if we had a poet. We could interrogate him. We could attack the base. Take a wider detour around the camp. Let's interrogate him. We were ordered to set up a radio station here. Please don't hurt me. I'm just the radio operator. I was just looking for a better place to set up the antenna. That's all you're going to get out of him. You gag the man and think about what to do. Um, we're attacking the base, obviously. <laughs> I don't want to gamble that we're not going to have a fight. We're going in guns a blazing. Alright. So we only have five guys. One of his, One's a medic, so he's going down fast. Um, so we're going to put... Um, we're going to put Natalia up front because she'll have the best shot of one-shotting the medic. Pretty much everyone else is just sort of in line. Alright, Natalia. Ooh, he actually has health though. Let's do a double shot. Him and him. Oh yeah, killed the soldier. Wounded that uh that dude really badly. Worth it. Okay, um, I guess next we have Jackson here. And we're gonna go for the medic. We don't need anybody getting healed. And we pretty much have got it in the bag from here. I guess I will go ahead and heal Jackson up. So that when we finish the level, we're all in tip top shape. Uh, we'll run over here like this. Huh, huh. guys Ooh, nice nice efficient gun oh I can even finish him off oh man we just iced what three of them all right your turn come over here guys so we can kill you yeah go ahead and miss your shot and stand out in the open that's how you should play the game Guy will take the kill shot. Oh no, he won't. And Natalia will. We're down. Oh, my Jackson needs better cover against this guy. There. And that one. Good. Oh, he's a sniper, eh? You think you can set up sniping shots to trick us? Well, you definitely can't. Oh! Yeah, guess what, buddy? You're about to be killed by the A-Team. Oh, shoot. Okay. You're about to be killed by Special Agent Natalia. Okay, you're about to be killed by this highly trained doctor with a laser gun. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was beginning to think no one was going to be able to kill him. Damn, we didn't even take a single shot. We free healed. We iced three of the five guys in the first round. That's a badass way to end the battle. You search the radio tent. Apart from a small field radio, you do not find anything of interest. Then your eyes fall on a waste paper basket next to the field table, full to the brim with radio transcripts. Uh, interim report on the Erat expedition. To the research battalion near the east, we are gratified to announce that we have encountered the outpost of the target 
culture of the Armenian highlands. The Valkyrim network is therefore considerably larger than previously believed. It should extend at least from the African Atlantic coast of the Caucasus, Caucasus in the north and is known to the Russian White Sea. We will keep you informed about any further findings. Hail Hitler, C uh, Colonel von Ortzen, expedition leader. All right, what do we get? Ooh, armors and stuff. Okay, what is this? Spoiled field ration. Someone's going to pay 30 bucks for that. Ew. Ooh, we got some uh, armor. We'll take a look and see if ours are better. Oh, man, there's there's another map and another map. I thought we were almost done the game. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to we're going to have to put a pin. It's it's two in the morning, basically, where I am. I can't stay up any later. I was going to play till midnight, but I kind of got into this game. Um, maybe we'll have to put a pin in it and come back tomorrow tomorrow evening and play a bit more but you breathe a sigh of relief as you finally leave the merciless heat of the Syrian desert behind you the awe-inspiring mountains of the Armenian highlands rise before you legend has it that Noah landed somewhere here with his ark as the waters of the great flood receded but what is the connection with the wrath of God I'm loving the like like Indiana Jones was always cool because it was like Nazis and like Christian mythology and like all these like, you know, ancient temples and stuff. I feel like this game has got a lot of that. Um, and actually, I was thinking more of it like from the FTL perspective, like you get to the end of the map and that's it. But no, this is like multiple zones and stuff. And this is like one quest. I uh, never get over those lighting effects. This is like one quest. There were like five or six of them, I think. You look up the mountain peaks around you. Do not, they do not reveal their secrets. Wow. You also get a lot of opportunity to recruit more people. So I guess the first mission we did was just really the tutorial one. Because I thought when you get to the X, that ends it. But only, it seems, if uh, on the on the first mission. So this time around, I can already tell you, we're going to go to the left. Because I want to hit that store right before we pass the, the thing. But we're low on fuel. I wouldn't have wasted fuel, stupidly. If I knew that there was a whole other mission, but let's let's leave ourselves ready, ready to move on here. So Jackson's all healed up. I feel like Bellamy doesn't need the armor heal at the moment. Um, let's see here. So same kind of armor, except it doesn't have plus one willpower. She cannot wear this armor. He... Oh, he could wear it. Oh, it just heals his armor. Okay. There we go. Some valuables. Um, he doesn't want this armor, I don't think. Yeah, it's really not worth it for him. Some valuables. So, we have a whole other adventure. We have a whole other adventure. I think I'm going to do this tomorrow. I mean, no promises, but uh, take a look on Twitter if you want to know, uh, if you're curious. But I've been having fun with this, and we have other characters. She's about to level up again. She's, like, power leveling. I can't believe how fast. I. She must be getting the kill shots and stuff. Med kit's range plus one. I don't really care about that. Pistol range plus one. That might be the one. Yeah, we're going to give her more pistol range when she upgrades. And then her final skill, we can even think about that right now. Crippling attack causing the target to lose 75%. No. Can equip heavy armors. I think that's what we're gonna go for. I feel like her double shot is good enough. I don't necessarily need like a crippling shot, but heavy armors, that would be pretty cool. Um, although I just, I think, <laughs> I just incinerated I guess I can't take it out of my valuables. I just incinerated one of the heavy armors. Whatever, we'll find an opportunity to buy another one. There's no rush. It's not like she's taking so much damage she can't survive. Let's take a look at all those skill trees real quick before we quit here. So for this guy, I'd probably take assault rifle damage. Assault rifle armor shredding. Mm, I'd probably just take straight up damage. Target will receive a morale boost, giving them plus five agility this turn. Uh, okay. 
If it, the attack is successful, the target will be killed instantly. I feel like neither of those really wow me. So I'm not super excited about him maxing out. This guy... Oh, he has an ability we haven't been using, but... Disintegrator damage, repair... That might be worth it. Heavy armor amount. Disintegrator shredding. May actually be worth it to, like, upgrade this so that we can repair our armors more easily. Revive a downed ally and restore 10 hit points. That might be worth it. Reaction shot. During the next turn, this character will form a counterattack. Yeah, I'd probably take the resuscitate with him. And then, did we already look at this guy's? I can't remember yet. No, we haven't. Um, oh, he's actually almost better at repairing than the other guy. Assault rifle damage. Hmm, okay, so shotgun damage. We're not using a shotgun. It doesn't matter. That would be okay. Grenade throw range doesn't matter. Repair kits. Hmm. Any fist punch or headshot. If attack is successful, the target will be killed. Hard to say. I'm, I'm less excited about leveling up these two guys. I feel like Natalia I'm actually the most interested in. Because uh, she could unlock heavy armor. Um, and then this guy. Being able to resuscitate people would be nice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, I hope you guys have been enjoying this stream. I hope it's keeping you entertained. If you watched it live with me, if you did tune in for some of it, um, or if you're watching this the next day or days from now, you know, if you're in some kind of self-quarantine or anything during this uh, corona thing, you know, stay safe, stay healthy, be smart, watch a lot of Netflix and YouTube and all that. And, uh, yeah, one way or another, I will come back to this. I don't know if it's going to happen tomorrow night or a different day, but I, I can't leave it like this. So uh, we are going to exit to the main menu. Hopefully everything is nice and auto-saved. Let me just see. Oh, yeah, we can continue at any point. We will be back. So, guys, it has been it has been fun. Thank you for watching. If you're watching all the all the way to the end, that's, that's amazing. And I will catch you guys soon. So, yeah, hold on, I'll put up the welcome to the thanks screen for you. All right, see you guys.